Um, if you're just getting here, I am playing um, almost every single Resident Evil game on Earth. I'm doing a giant marathon all of April. We are currently on Resident Evil 3. This is my personal favorite Resident Evil game ever made, so I will only have nice things to say about it for the most part. There are some bad things in this game. Um, I will try to pick the uh, pick the route that you don't do in the speedrun to mix it up a little. Um, but I digress. This is a story slash review marathon. Less emphasis on story because I'm just not that good at going into the details. Uh, we're going to play hard. This is the American version. Resident Evil 3. It all began as an ordinary day in September. Uh, this is the GameCube scene with Safe Steve version. Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them, and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. You! Yeah. I love this intro. It's so good. Bum, ba, da, bum. Yeah, man. Why didn't they go for headshots? And boom! You just blow right out of the apartment. Look at all the zombies back there. I really like how this game, right off the bat, right off the bat, when you go from playing RE2 to this, the game is telling you, with the intro and with blowing out of your RPD or blowing out of your apartment and with this music, that this game has an entirely different feel to it. You know, there's a more emphasis on action immediately. There are more zombies on the screen in the first second than you see for a while in RE2. Or more threatening zombies, I should say. There's a lot of zombies in the RE2 intro. But if you count all these guys and then these guys... Yeah, you know there's... You're in for a more action-packed game. <clears throat> I love this upcoming cutscene. Dario's voice actor is so good. Like, he, he's perfect in this. 
I love it. Thank you again, again for the 10 gifted and gamer. Thank you for the four and wicked crow. Thank you for the 57. Thank you. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! Leave me alone! When I ask Rune B to play RE6. I told you! I'm not leaving! Never! The container is locked from inside. A forklift for moving various types of cargo. Uh, defective products have been placed here. Ooh. There's nothing left. Okay. The F aid spray. Above rim. Nice picture. Is that the same spray paint that was on the wall at the basketball court? In RE2? Maybe. I can't remember. Should we save it? I feel like we're pretty far. My favorite save theme. Various reports are sorted here. My favorite save theme in terms of how well it fits the game. This save theme makes you feel safe, but slightly uneasy. You know that you are not completely safe. There's this sense of dread in the music, and it's perfect because Nemesis is always stalking you in this game. A delivery voucher book. And not only Nemesis, but Jill is on her own out in the streets of Raccoon City. There's nothing more dangerous in a zombie outbreak than running around the streets of a city. <laughs> so, just fits the game very well. What are my controls? Uh, game instructions. Instructions on the creation of bullets. This explains how to use the gunpowder and the reloading tool. This is my favorite gun mixing in the franchise, and this is the introduction, or gunpowder mixing in the franchise, and this is the introduction of, like, mixing and creating ammo. Um, and I really like it because it's very confusing and it's very hard to do properly. It's not just something that, like, in most games, you'll open up the creation screen, you'll just, like, spam the button or whatever. There's no thought required. But in this, you can screw yourself over pretty bad. Um, it's a good and a bad thing. It's good for hardcore players and it's terrible for casual players. You will not grasp the gunpowder system on your first playthrough, most likely, unless you just go back and forth to this guide, which is a good idea. Um, ammunition creation system. To create various ammunition, you need to use the reloading tool and gunpowder. Reloading tool. This is a necessary item if you want to create different types of ammunition. By combining the gunpowder and reloading tool, various types of ammunition will be created. Gunpowder. Mix materials to create various types of ammunition. There are three types of basic gunpowders, A, B, and C. Please note that the gunpowder C is created by mixing A and B types. How to mix gunpowders. You can create various kinds of bullets by mixing the different gunpowders. There are 13 different kinds of gunpowders in all. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Uh, example of gunpowders. 
A, handgun bullets. B, shotgun shells. C, grenade rounds. See, not too hard to remember. A and C, grenade flame rounds. A, B and C, grenade acid rounds. C and C, grenade freeze rounds. And C, 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 magnum bullets. Mixing gunpowder with grenade rounds. If you combine a certain type of gunpowder with grenade rounds, special types of grenade rounds will be created. Mixing level improvement. If you repeatedly create the same kind of ammunition, your skill will be improved and you will be able to create more powerful ammunition. I love that whole system. But it is very hard to remember. And we're going to need to talk about RE3 Remake a lot in this playthrough and vice versa when you play RE3 Remake. This entire system was completely scrapped or it wasn't scrapped in RE3 Remake, they just used RE2, RE2 Remakes, which is a dumbed down version of RE7's. Um, and the gunpowder mixing in this game is extremely memorable. And finding gunpowders is exciting because it is an entire... It's, it's like a mini game in this game. And you can create the exact kind of ammo you want to use throughout your playthrough. And in the remake, you just find gunpowders like in RE2 and RE7. Uh, game instructions, this explains about various actions, operations on map screen, and operations in the event scenes. Uh, game instructions A. Um, your survivability depends on how you play. Good luck. Targetable objects. So I think this introduced, I think this game introduced like explodable barrels and, and uh, other things along those lines. Some barrels and explosives located in the environment are targetable objects. By shooting them with your weapon, you can expect various results. To aim, press the attack, stance, target all button. A quick turn. The player turns 180 degrees. This is also the introduction of quick turn. While walking backwards, press the cancel button. Toggle the C stick in the desired direction. Emergency escape. When an enemy grabs your character or your character is falling down, you can escape more quickly by pressing the control stick and buttons rapidly. Dot, which, okay, emergency escape. This thing does not work consistently. Like, in Code Veronica has the same mechanic. When I play Code Veronica, I rarely get bit by a zombie because you can shake them off by spamming before they bite you. You can do the same in this game as well, but what this, this doesn't mention is you can't push off a zombie's first bite. So let's say you go into the basement room, which has a lot of zombies, which is why I'm using it as an example. If you're bit by... It, it doesn't matter what zombie bites you. You cannot push off the first zombie from the bite animation. You have to get bit by one zombie. Correct me if I'm wrong. It might be different on the GameCube uh, version of the game and American version. I don't think so, though. Um, so you have to get bit by one zombie in order to push off the next without taking damage. Which in CVX, you can push them all off without taking damage. But with that even... With with that being said, even if you already get bit, it is so inconsistent to push a zombie off. Well, yeah, Dewox, you can buffer before taking a bite. Yes, you can mash really quickly. But all I'm saying is, in a casual playthrough, good fucking luck. This mechanic is made terribly. No one can do it 100% of the time. And in CVX, I can do it almost every time. And in this game, it just doesn't work as well. It's a badly implemented mechanic. Uh, the dodge. Another badly implemented mechanic. Your character can dodge an enemy's attack by pressing the attack stance button. Press the A button while holding down the attack stance button. So this is confusing already. What they mean by attack stance is aiming. I will show it in a sec. But this is also very inconsistent. Um, it's a very cool mechanic. I really like the dodge mechanic. It's very interesting, but is it consistent? Can you pull it off? No. And you always see a lot of people commenting on like, oh, I watched a YouTuber. Like, I watched him do it super consistently. He didn't take damage. It was a damageless run and he uh, dodged every single time. It is consistent. You're just bad or, or everyone's just bad at the game. When you watch a Resident Evil YouTube video that displays God tier skill, 99% chance, which I've checked a lot of the good ones, they are what's called segmented. And most of them are secretly segmented, which means this is what segmented means, okay? 
I will, I'll explain after this. Um, get off on and off objects. Your character can get on and off some objects. Face the object and while walking against the object, press the A button. The map. Press the map button to view the map. On outdoor maps, you can zoom and unzoom and view the view by pressing the A button. You can also move the map with the control stick. Press start and pause to choose from the other maps you have acquired. Live selection. Remind me to show you guys what I talked about. Uh, live selection. In-game events called live selection will occur periodically when your character faces dangerous situations. When a live selection occurs, a screen appears. Make your choice promptly using the control stick and confirming with the A button. This is one of the best mechanics in the entire game, and it was introduced for this game, and only this game as far as I remember. Um, so if you remember, Resident Evil 2 had two different characters and two scenarios each, and each scenario was slightly different. Um, well, the, the Leon and Claire were vastly different. The B scenarios were slightly different with the opposing characters, but not, not like crazily different. So this game obviously needed to add something to uh, increase the playtime. So that is why they did this. Um, so there are many moments in this game where you get to choose what you're going to do in like this slow motion white screen. It's usually when Nemesis shows up, but there are other times where you have to choose. And your choice will change the game. It will change where enemies are, it will change when and where Nemesis shows up, and it will change the future cutscenes you see. So it changes the game enough that it adds a lot of replayability. So you need to go through the game quite a few times to see every possible thing that could happen. Actually, if you want to see every possible thing that could happen, you need to play the game tens of thousands of times because this game is insanely random. But this gives you, you can get alternate ending with this and alternate pathways with this as well. Uh, this was also scrapped in the RE3 remake, which was a giant mistake. It made the game very, um, very, very linear. Um, a lot of sections in RE3 almost feels like you're in a vacuum. The game is just pushing you forward and telling you exactly what to do and when to do it. And if, if it's not pushing you forward, you already know where to go and when to go there. This game is a lot more open. You have this choice section and you can go wherever you want to go at all times. You can explore the city however you want to explore the city. You can backtrack, you can go forward. You have a lot of options in this game. Um, so it does suck that this was ditched because it is one of the best mechanics. Uh, skipping events. Depending on the event, you can skip it. To skip an event, press the start button slash pause. So yes, and you can also wait through events. So there's a third option. Like in the kitchen, you can go downstairs. You can go down the ladder into the sewer. You can blow Nemi up with an explosive in the kitchen. Or you can wait it out and kill him with Carlos. Um, so, uh, as I was saying about the dodge first. This is how you dodge. That's it. See that aim? A zombie or an enemy has to attack you during that time. It can also happen when you're shooting as well. It just happens like in between shots. You can get lucky and the dodge will just happen. Uh, now, here's one big problem. If you dodge and hold in the button, if you're holding the button at the same time that the enemy grabs you, or, or you do the dodge animation, sorry, then you will aim after you dodge, and you will probably get grabbed or hit afterwards because you're stunned from aiming after you dodge. This is very confusing, but... Well, there's a lot to explain in this game. I will leave this save room and we will continue. But there's just so much to explain in this game. There's a lot of mechanics. Um, Speedrunners, just tap the dodge button. If you don't just tap, you will most likely aim afterwards and then you will get hit anyway and you will hate the mechanic. And that is one of the main reasons why the mechanic is terrible casually. I digress. <laughs> Um, and with the segmented runs, like I said, I have 
seen a lot of YouTube videos on Resident Evil. Even ca even like long plays. There's a lot of Resident Evil long plays on YouTube, and you can tell by their movement. You can tell by how well they're good at, or how good they are at the mechanics that they are segmented. And here's what a segmented run is: a truly like secret segmented run that is sort of a toxic thing to upload and make it seem like you're a pro at some game. Okay, watch this. Wait for the black screen. Right here, you make a save state. So I press the save state button on my emulator, and then I do this room. So, oh, oops, I ran to a wall. You load the save state again, you press load, then you do it again, and you nail it. So it'll keep loading that room. Then you nail that room, okay? So let's, let's nail that room. All right. Save state. Boom. Okay, so now do that for every single room in the entire game, every single fight in the entire game, every single section. And then in editing software, you edit it all together to make it look like it's one playthrough, even though your hour-long playthrough of the game took you 25 hours. But to the unsuspecting YouTube audience, it only took you an hour. That is a lot of not only RE3, but Resident Evil videos in general. And it will not say they did that in the comments, but a good RE runner can easily tell. I, you, I have watched tens of runners start off in this game and then how they get better and better and better over thousands of hours of game time or gameplay time. No one is that good casually, unfortunately. There is nothing strange. The first time I showed my mom this game, she asked why I didn't get on that bike, because the bike would be a lot faster. Thank you, Major Tom Zero, for the five gifted subs. Ho oh, ho yeah. Thank you. True though. Yeah, it's very true. Oh shit. Oh god. What? <laughs> I like how that bullet went through him to hit the explosive. Look, this game's full of surprises. A wrecked car is blocking the way. Monmon hot dogs. Ooh, look at that picture. Brad? So we're introduced to a great mechanic here. I should have brought my knife. Because I want to kill Nemi. Oops. Okay, let's go downstairs. Don't bite me, don't bite me. This is scary. We take the shotgun. Nice. And the lighter oil. Okay, let's not fight them. You don't always want to fight in this game. Thank you, Major Tom, for the five gifted subs, and thank you, Jim Jam, for the gifted sub. I love the atmosphere in this game. I love the background sound effects you can hear. They are awesome. Let's get the map here. 
town map. All right, so we can mix these. Thank you, Marcel, for the 15 months. All right, let's get out of here. Scary, scary. Passage is completely blocked off. Okay. Well, you, you shouldn't kill everything in this game. It's not, um... It's not wise. There's zombies. Zombies, zombies. I'm going to show you guys a little, a cool thing in here. You ready? I much prefer Brad or Brad's storyline in this game Ugh. as opposed to the remake. Get away! Save me, Brad! I love this song. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape. I much prefer this because... Turn on subtitles in this PS1 game. Um, I much prefer this because Nemesis is built up over the course of the first like half hour of the game. So you don't know what he's talking about. I mean, you do. He's on the front cover, but you still haven't seen him. And you're wondering when you're going to see him. And yes, you do have this sense of dread at this point. And all the songs in this game, like this one, it's like making you feel sort of safe, but very uneasy at the same time. There's always worry in every song. There's always a sense of dread. The Clock Tower Postcard. We'll tell it. All right, three remake shows this as well, but you don't actually go here. A picture postcard of a clock tower. And the following explanation is printed on the backside: a landmark spot, Saint Michael Clock Tower. Well, we took a bite earlier. We can use this. Partially consumed food and drinks. Bottles of bourbon line the shelf. The sink is full of dirty dishes and glasses. Old pinball machine. A payphone. <laughs> thank you, Solid Snake, for the 11 months. And thank you, Tattoo Dude, for the 54. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you, Obey, for the 95 bits. And thank you again, Marcel, for the 15 months. Thank you. I don't know if payphones still exist. I don't think so. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, one of the best songs, if not the best song in the game other than the save theme, City of Ruin. Again, the soundtrack, the soundtrack in this game is insanely fitting. The 
good RNG. Okay, so we're gonna try and get them all. There's two back there that won't follow, but... Okay, we're gonna kill these zombies. Photo A. Uh, the policemen are pressing forward. It's dated September 27th. His flesh was apparently bitten off or devoured. So we could take one of these for now. I suppose we could take another. gun lore. Okay. So I don't think we need this. We need this. Um, we will probably need the knife. So more gunpowder. I guess we can make some pistol bullets. Because uh, I don't think we'll have enough for Nemesis otherwise. So let's do a double A. So, if reading the book correctly, um, double A should give us pistol ammo. And yeah, there's 35. Alright, um, and I think this is a good loadout for the first Nemesis fight coming up. Oh, we should take this too. Oh, oh and we should save it. Jill's a fast typer, holy shit. Chris and RE1 is yikers at typing. Okay, I'm just gonna use the bathroom really quick. You guys, stay safe. Nemi won't get you in here. I gotta use the potty, and I am going to put on some uh, hot water for my tea.
Smokey. Thank you for waiting. All right. Let's get back to business. Bacalistics with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you. Holy crap. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And thank you, Bracey, for the two months earlier. Thank you, Bacalistics. Holy moly. Everyone enjoy the 50 emotes you can use here and everywhere on Twitch. And by the way, I have six new emotes in the works as well. Um, hopefully they'll be done before village. All right, so we saved it. We have our loadout. Let's go see if we could kill Nemi. And the music has come to a halt for now. Letting the atmosphere take the lead. Books. Books. See, in the remake, I would have liked to go in places like that, or go in places that are blocked off in this game. That would have been awesome. Alright, so there's the RPD, which, as you'll notice, in RE2 Remake, when you're coming up to the RPD station, you can get this exact camera angle when you come up the stairs, which is really cool. Nice Easter egg, almost. All right, this is one of my favorite moments in the fran- I think it's in the top 10 moments of the franchise. It was one of the moments everyone was most excited for in the remake, um, but a lot of the best moments come in the RPD station. Uh, and fun fact, I believe, I heard this in a few interviews and I've seen a few articles about this, but apparently when RE3 Remake was first published, or, or, or first in development, um, originally Carlos and Jill were supposed to come here and it was supposed to play out just like it did in the original, except it was Jill and Carlos here. Um, but later they decided to scrap it and um, they wanted to make more use of Tyrell as a character, so they made it Carlos and Tyrell instead. Not a wise decision in my opinion. They could have made Tyrell a better character anywhere else other than the exact place Jill works. I don't know. Anyway. Such a better introduction. And then it introduces two things, Nemesis and the choice system right off the bat. So we will fight with the monster. Hopefully we can kill him. There's a perfect example of why the dodge is not that good in this game. I dodged his attack and I got hit anyway because Jill has a lot of different dodge animations in this game and if you duck she dodges almost every time Nemesis's punches so they probably should have coded it so that you duck every time but instead a lot of the time versus Nemesis when you do dodge you end up getting hit anyways. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. 
get me scared. Okay, so now that he's down, let's try out the shotgun. Caution. He hasn't really hit us too many times. The shotgun animation is too much. That's okay, we're out of ammo. Another one of my favorite things in this game, which they introduced in this game, Nemesis drops items. Eagle Parts A. Literally my favorite handgun in the franchise is the Eagle, and this game also has my favorite shotgun in the franchise, which we will see later. This was taken out of Remake, and the shotgun was also taken out of Remake. Feels bad, man. Where they did keep Nemi drops in the original, they were sort of copy-paste RE2 remake drops as opposed to the uh, specific weapons in this game. And Mr. X did drop items, um, but Mr. X usually dropped the ammo that you used to kill him. Nemesis gives you a reward for killing him. In this fight you get Eagle Parts A, then you get Eagle Parts B, which gives you a really powerful handgun and then in the next fight he will give you a first aid kit which is insanely useful it lets you carry three first aid sprays in your inventory and then he gives you an automatic rifle another first aid kit and I think that's it the card case Oh yeah, let's check this. The M92F Custom. A custom handgun made for stars. It uses 9mm parabellum rounds. There's the rounds. A card of some kind is inside the card case. Stars card. Look at Brad's face. The an ID card for stars with Brad's picture on it. Now the first half of RE3 is supposed to take place before RE2, correct guys? Correct me if I'm wrong. Then what's with all this bullshit <laughs> in front of like it blocking the pathway? Good use of reused assets and reused music. Nostalgia. Zombies. Oh, and this game also introduced a new movement mechanic. You can freely walk on stairs. In RE2, you had to press the action button on stairs to go down and up. The police station map. Will you use the STARS card? Yes. Due to the emergency, the key to the STARS office has been moved to the evidence room. 
Today's password is 0513. It's completely blocked off. So, RE3 isn't perfect. How did these doors get boarded up? And how are they not boarded up in RE2? The zombies didn't break through those doors because they'd be in the they'd be in the lobby, which they aren't. Yep, Marvin. But why would Marvin barricade the doors and then unbarricade the doors? What's the sense? change of mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marvin's like, ah, actually, on second thought, let's take those down. Where's the hammer? I got work to do around here. The shutters do make much more sense. All right. Someone's made quite a mess in here. There's a waiting room by the reception desk. Okay, we got the good luck. Nice. No Jojo? Wait, what? I'm confused. All right, so we've seen the password was five. One, three. The emblem key. All right. I will check Marvin's. Well, Marvin's body. I never noticed you could see a bit of her bra. Let's try and run by. Okay. Oh God, zombies. Irons did it. Okay. Zombies. Okay, so. Um, I don't think we need these. I don't think we need the stars card anymore. And I don't think we need the knife either. We could make more pistol ammo, but do we need it? I don't think we need it. David's memo. So we read about David in RE2. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Mayor. One of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies. But he came back to save me. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I could still hear him calling out my name. I could still hear the screams coming from behind, the sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid, terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. The shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many zombies into fertilizer with it. We've lost 13 men as, and as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one of the last bodies into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. Damn, David. Nothing suspicious. If you're playing a Resident Evil game for the first time, make multiple saves over different slots, not the same slot, because typically you'll have to load an old save in these games sometimes if you screw yourself over too much. Alright, so I think this is a good loadout for upstairs. Nothing much else to, to do in here. Oh, 
Okay, so I was wrong, by the way. And I, I didn't, I thought I was wrong too. I just didn't realize it. See that window's not broken? Or well, it, it was broken in RE2 seamless HD version, but that was done in the seamless HD version as a, like an Easter egg thing. Um, and when we were looking at it, I was like, wait, I didn't say this out loud, but I'm like, I've never noticed that wasn't, that was broken, but it's a seamless HD thing, I guess. Oh, zomb zombies. We have to go. Oh, no. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. Okay, go, go, go. Statue of a god holding up his soul. Where are the statues? That's another thing in this game. Where are the statues? Thank you, Dr. Butt, for the 23 months. Zombies. Solid barricade has been set up here. Star's office. I think it would have been a nice touch if they changed the song for this room. Marksman contest winner, Chris Redfield. The fellas. It's a desk of Wesker, captain of stars. It's the desk of Barry, a stars team member. A pair of replica guns are on the desk. No, there isn't. I don't think. It's the desk of Chris, Star's team member. It's disorganized. It's disorganization probably reflects the owner's personality. Oh! The lockpick, the master of unlocking. I can unlock the simple locks. Just. Hey, Raptus. And thank you, Zach, for the gifted stuff again. Thank you, Angel, for the 14 months. And thank you again, Snake, for the 18. It's the desk of Rebecca, a rookie member of STARS. So, wait. Actually, never mind. Large communications device. It's out of commission. I can't send any messages from here. Yeet. 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 Easy clap. No. Come to anyone. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlo. Send in support immediately. So if you guys are wondering why chat is laughing. In this locker, there is a chance, it's a random chance, to get a magnum or a grenade launcher. In the speed run, you want the grenade launcher. In a casual run, it doesn't matter. Actually, magnum, magnum in a casual run is probably better because you don't have the stress of trying to make different ammo. It's just very easy. You make magnum ammo. Nothing else to worry about. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, one of the best... Did you hear that? One of the best moments in the franchise again. Two of them are in RE3. Now you hear the theme kick in. This theme is amazing. It lets you know Nemi knows where you are. And you best be fucking running, bro. I love this song. Oh my god! Stars. Stars. And now he has a rocket launcher. 
I wish those two moments were in the remake. And it even plays this theme when you're in the save room. Okay, so we have the grenade launcher. Um, let's make some... Let's make some ammo. Okay, should we save it too? I'm scared. Okay, let's take these. Okay, we don't need... Okay, we probably won't need all those rounds. Okay, should we save it? Let's save it, let's save it. Okay. Let's go check if there's any other ammo up ahead. Oh shit. Star. And he's got the rocket launcher. Holy shit. Okay. Locked with a simple lock. Please, the lockpick. Okay, yellow. So, if I remember correctly, the game said. C. So, C and C is grenade freeze rounds. But to make C, you need to mix A and B. So, that requires two different powders right off the bat so it, it requires four powders in total to make freeze rounds so freeze rounds must be the most powerful if you combine a certain type of gunpowder with grenade rounds special types of grenade rounds will be created okay so this must make freeze rounds nice now, I don't think it's always worth it to mix all of your grenade rounds or into your in together because once they're in there, you need different rounds to get them back out. So you can't create new rounds once they're already in the grenade launcher. Let's see what we can do with six. powerful against him. He is making weird sounds. Danger already. He's powerful. I think we'll need all the rounds we can get. We got him, we got him. Stars. And what'd he drop? Ooh, the other eagle parts. Okay. Let's build this new eagle. Yes, oh, I forgot to mention that. On, on the US version and PAL, enemies do deal more damage. And, Nemesis, and bosses have more health, so Nemesis has more health in this version when compared to the speedrun. The STI Eagle 6.0, a custom-made gun for competitions. It uses 9mm Parabellum rounds. My favorite handgun in the franchise. I love this gun. The purple, my favorite color. And it has a chance to critically hit I wish this was in the remake, but instead we got, we got, what gun did we get in the remake? Oh yeah, it was so boring that it was forgettable. Okay.
a Glock. The most basic pistol ever. Dogs. Okay, we don't want to run around dogs. I must have crit him. Yeah, what do you get from the drops? I think you just get upgrades for your block. soda cans and junk, nothing else. Stars card. An ID card for Jill's stars with Jill's picture on it. It's the same picture from RE1. There's nothing you can do with the fireplace. Looks like there was a recent accident here. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so let's go back in here. away and I think we can put this away for now because we will be getting to uh, green herbs on our way out yeah see that's another thing just to get into a little bit of RE3 remake it would have been another reason for it to be it would have been cool for Jill to go to the RPG station is she could have interacted with Marvin and Chief Irons It would have been awesome. Okay, let's make let's lay waste to the zombies in here. Oh, the eagle. So in Resident Evil to check if something's dead, just re-aim. And auto aim will tell you. Marvin's report. Report. September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marvin Brenna. September 26th. Based upon an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. Signed, Marvin Brenner. Let's take these. Welcome, Leon. Let's go use the stars key, our card. No, Marvin's not here. He must be behind one of the barricaded doors. Do 
Due to the emergency, the key to the stars house is removed. Ah. So I guess that's just for, uh... Well, we need to go back and bank now. That's why the barricades are off, because Marvin had to break through to get back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, moving along. Let's get out of here. So this is why I brought the red herbs, so I could mix the green. Free two birds from one cage. Yes, this is the seamless HD GameCube version. I was going to play the Rebirth version, but this was already sitting there on my desktop, ready to be played. Ooh, the vines. What was that? He's holding something. Mercenary's Diary. September 1st. Following six months of intensive training, my body's edge had returned. I was a good soldier, but they ordered my execution with no reason given. I was tortured and forced to give a false confession. But on the morning of my execution, a miracle happened. The company had helped me out, giving me a second lease on life. September 15th. I ended my vacation short and returned to the HQ office. It looks like my UBCS unit's been called into action. Umbrella main maintains its own paramilitary unit to counter corporate terrorism and VIP abduction. In addition, they have nightmen who specialize in handling problems caused by illegal products. I'm currently a member of the latter. September 28th. Dawn's here, but we're still slogging through this nightmare. There are no provisions of any kind here. The undead walk the streets, feeding upon the flesh of the living. Given the choice again, I would rather have been executed. Death Row was a heavenly asylum compared to this place. I've chosen to pull the trigger myself, and in hope that my dead body won't come back to life. Damn. Well, thank you for the handgun rounds. a cool emblem above the door. There's a fire hydrant. The fire hose is fixed with bolts. Wait a sec. Oh, 
we'll be back. Catholic Student Center. Kevin's apartment's right up there. Thank you, Jeretic, for the gifted sub. When's RE3 remake coming out? I think it was canceled. There we go. Cool pizza. Hey, who's that in the picture? The boxing picture. I did play reverse, yeah, it's, it's something. God, what happened here? Holy shit. Nothing especially strange here. No. Gunpowder B. He was apparently bitten in the neck until he died. There's a wrecked car blocking the way. I like that you could freely explore everything. Well, like, you know, there are barricades up and stuff, but you can run around a large portion of the city. There's a crit. Another crit. Seems to be charging the battery. Yeah, let's take it. I don't know. Seems that there's no power for it. Nice, this game is very generous with its bullets. Even killing Nemi, we have 75 rounds. We've killed most enemies at this point. Okay, so I don't think we need this for now. Better trade those for a first aid spray instead. Bank that. Could make some shotgun rounds with that. Could bring back out our shotgun. All right, let's give a save. I like the save room. It's beautiful. Thank you, Jurackard, for the 23 months. Thank you. Oh, nice. Skark, 60. Alright. Thank you for the follow. Let's -a go. Oh, dogs. Okay, we need to get out of here. We're going to get overwhelmed. And thank you for the 400 bits, Dragon Balls. Thank you.
what would make you guys think we're skipping Code Veronica? Oh god! The introduction of a new enemy! I like that introduction. It's fast, it's fun, it's brain suckers. His expression shows insane agony and pain. This enemy was not in the remake. There was Drain Demos. I think they chose. I forget. Is this Brain Sucker or Drain Demos? So a lot of people don't understand this. There are two kinds of this enemy in this game. One has poison. This one sucks your brains. Oh, we're 50 50 on what it is. Should have used the hanging crate. I should have. I actually forgot that was even there. I haven't used that in like years. Thank you, Crispy, for the 15 months. Thank you. Scum! Carlos! Must channel our knowledge to the future, for it shall al always show us our greatest destiny. Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. The future is in our hands. Okay. Ouch. Biohazard 4. Nice. The theater. I would have loved to be able to go in the theater. I wish that was a little area in RE3 Remake. Missed opportunities, missed opportunities, missed opportunities. RE3 Remake, the biggest disappointment in the franchise. All right, so let's take these reds. Oh, we're gonna need to go to the box again. City Guide, the tracks of our city. Dear citizens, Thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Incorporated, this is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations from Umbrella Incorporated have been used for welfare work and the construction of public utilities and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then th that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building, create a state-of-the-art hospital. Oh, derp. In honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to this city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren. Thank you, Baron Yard, for the 17 months, and thank you, Duke, for the 10. Thank you. The lamp is lit.
buy-in situations of the various foodstuffs are written here. Locked with a simple lock. Okay. Something not a lot of people know is when there is stuff like let's when you shoot directly down see I'm hitting like the staircase you can shoot in between like in the dead area here like we can hit him I like this little alleyway this is a very memorable part for me. Like this, this, this section in general is one of the most memorable areas for me. Not that there's anything specific in here. It's just loaded with zombies and it's just a small enclosed space. I have played Dragon Age games before, yeah. Um, I don't know, they said there will be other uh, things shown in the showcase. We could um, make some pistol ammo. We always use the grenade launcher in the in the speed run. Let's make some more pistol ammo. All right, so we need our lock pick, and I think that's about it. Oh, so as you... Oh, I wasn't actually aware of that. As you create more with a single one, you create more rounds. I see. Oh, wow, that's really cool, Mangetsu. Obey for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, so they didn't put brain suckers in the game. Down, lady. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill. Carlos. Did you just say you belong Thank you, to Gamer, Umbrella's for the 100 bits. army? I don't have it yeah. set up, unfortunately. We came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. Let's do hide inside the kitchen. Over here. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. Oh, 
Here we get the drop for free. Yeah! First aid box. I love this scene. Like, when I was a kid, another unforgettable moment in this game, exploding Nemi with the, with the, um, kitchen. Um, I feel bad for anyone in their first playthrough who went down the, down here. Also, I wish that was in. He's back. Let's put this boy down for good. Actually, oh my God, Carlos. Jesus. Let's get out of here, Carlos. Let's get out of here. Carlos! I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team Lurk, here? Sir. Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. Think about it. Think about, yeah, door stopping Nemi. Oh, you thought it did. Run, Jill. We thought the door would stop him. But he was listening. He had his ear pressed up against it. God, he's fast, he's fast, and he does a lot of damage with the frig. Ow! Wow, Nemesis can actually catch you in this game. Let's get that on our way out. Sorry, I can catch you in this game when it's not on nightmare mode. Photo B. A close-up shot of a zombie. It says scoop on the backside. Nice. And there's no power going to the switchboard. a switch for the fireproof shutter. The raccoon press. All right. Did we go to the raccoon press in RE3 remake? Zombies. Uh, zombies! Porter's memo. At last, I have found the evidence I need to prove the cannibal disease is indeed happening to this in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away a new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumors that many people are also suffering from the disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on it. I have placed the Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I am infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. 
I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I've just discovered the disease not spread through the air, but by some other means. You've taken the reporter's memo. Who? What reporter? Photo C. The police have been destroyed. Apparently this is Alessa's desk. Or this one? I can't remember which one. Oh, shit! He's actually showing up in buildings! I love that he can follow you just about everywhere in this game. He actually feels like a threat. He feels like one of the main characters in the game. The entire game. All right, we've escaped him. We've escaped him. Oh, shit! See, I love that. When he showed up there, he obviously jumped off or off the roof or out of the window of the section we'd just seen him in previously. Now in the remake, that's okay, Kai. In the remake, he just shoots off like Spider-Man and shows up out of absolutely batshit nowhere. In this game, he makes sense for the most part. And I think that's one of the worst, like, it's hard to comment on because Nemi's only in like a third of RE3 Remake, and hardly. Um, but, um, it would have been really cool, like, if the remake was insanely well done, to see him go somewhere, or to never see him leave. You go in somewhere, he follows you. You have to outrun him or down him to escape. But no, instead he just shoots off. Now it's a lot easier in a game like this to implement that kind of thing because if you if you see the door, he can't come through. And as soon as the camera angle changes, he can. Well, no, we need to talk about RE3 Remake. Like, this is a story slash review playthrough. I. When I'm playing RE3 Remake, I will be talking about RE3. When I'm playing RE3, I will be talking about RE3 Remake. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Just like I did with RE2 and RE2 Remake and RE1 and RE1 Remake. Already loaded, okay, good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, and honestly, I'm, we have reached a point that if you do watch any RE3 stream, unless it's like a blind playthrough, remakes get tough. <laughs> Don't do it, Demi! Thank you. As long as we walk, he won't run. I forgot the gem. Oh, shit! Oh, right in the face! Okay, he's good, he's good. I've underestimated his powers. Magneto grab. Stars. 
I think he's dead. We got him. We got him. And stay dead. Yeah, that part's really fun in the default. I love that game. It's one of my favorite horror games. So he didn't drop anything because he already... When you kill him in the kitchen, he doesn't stay down. You know how he gets up before we even leave the room? So it doesn't actually count. Um, we get the drop, but he doesn't actually die there. He has to die and disappear to get... Uh, uh, to get rid of him. For that encounter. So if we downed him again in the kitchen when he got back up, or if we didn't wa if we didn't kill him with the explosive and downed him instead, he wouldn't show up out here. You actually have to physically down him for him to disappear. But if you down him with a cutscene, you'll still get the drop. Which is sort of a downside in this game. Um, and a small criticism. Um, so, like... He's really easy to down and remake. So it's like a give or take. Um, there are some fights you have to fight him and it's a hard fight. Like RPD 1 and 2, those are hard fights if you don't know what you're doing. And even if you do, sometimes it's pretty difficult. And in RE3, it takes one grenade. Which the fact that it takes one grenade doesn't really, like, I don't think it makes it a bad game or anything that you have to shoot him once with a grenade and he's downed. Um, it's the fact that in a few cutscenes prior to his first fight, you see him grab a rocket out of midair and launch it at a car. The fact that when you throw a grenade, he doesn't use his tentacle, grab it, and throw it back at you just makes no sense. save a bit of our ammo. Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, leaving in the swag step was cool. I like that. Let's take one for now. Nemi weak. Yeah, I don't understand, like... Um... These are, f I'm trying to do full review slash story playthroughs of these games. If you're clicking on this stream and you're complaining about me pointing out flaws in Remake or this game, why are you here? That's the whole point of the stream, to get my entire thoughts out about all games, put the videos on YouTube, and if you ever want to know any of my fucking thoughts on any part of any of the games, you have an entire video that you can go watch. That is the point of these. And I think this section right here, that is the, correct me if I'm wrong, that's the truck that crashed into Leon and Claire. I do think this is a very weird spot for a train car. Like, why is it here? This is the train station? Uh, 
Uh, mechanics memo. Um, I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin. So let me tell you about, uh, how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. Ah, maybe that's why it's in a weird spot. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid the, those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you'd be better you'd better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Nice, dude. You're one of the survivors from the Nikolai. rescue team, right? I just ran the into your teammate, Carlos. The only character that I think is better in How this game. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Every other character I like more in Reed. Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? STARS. You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Even Nemi? Okay, I guess not Nemi. Well, like, I think Nemi's fine in Remake. I think they did a really good job with Nemi. The problem is... He's only in, he's, he's, he's literally just in the demo section of the game and then he's gone forever. He turns into a cutscene simulator for a bit and then he turns into a dog. So, I mean, I think when, when Nemi is Nemi, yeah, he's, he's great, but he's like, he's not in much of the game. Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. fire. Fire! Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. No. Don't, Don't come, come on any me. closer. Stay away. Now Kyle's way better in the remake. The characters in general are better in the remake. Everyone just fucking thinks that I hate Remake. I hate everything about the game. Because half people don't listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. I think the characters are way better in the game. They handle the characters very well. That is a very good part of RE3 Remake. And a very par bad part of RE3 is the characters are just insanely forgettable. Except Jill and Nemi. And maybe Nikolai. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Hmm, fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Sir. Okay, Jill, people. put this on. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Racy, for the five months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. A well-maintained control control room. Like they put the spin on that. 
control room. Okay, people. Let's go to the pharmacy first. Actually, let's go back and see, um... Let's go back and see Daria. I'm gonna stop making pistol rounds. I just realized. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, I just realized. You can't use the upgraded pistol rounds with the eagle. Okay, let's go down here. Oh! Oh my god. Let's hit headshot, 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 headshot. Eh, fuck it. I don't- I think they're health resets. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's nice casually playing the games. Um, so let's- let's bring the, um, let's bring the shotgun. Okay. Um, yeah, that should be good. Oh, let's save it. Okay. back. Headshots are pretty satisfying in this game. I think the shotgun's pretty satisfying in general. I really don't like the shotgun in RE2 Remake. I forget what it's like in RE3 Remake. Okay, let's go this way. No, there's not mode. They're back! Oh! It's the poison ones instead! It's- it's- Get off me! So these ones will shoot poison at you. Oh. RE7 has a great shot. Zombies! Nikolai! The headshots in RE2 Remake are fantastic. A lot of backtracking in this game. But there's backtracking in most RE games. And the backtracking isn't too bad in this because they do... They do mix-ups a lot of the time. Um, so certain events will happen when you are backtracking. And there are certain enemy changes as well. And you will get different cutscenes depending on which way you go first. But basically the city section of this game is about collecting the parts for the tram to leave for the clock tower. 
and in what uh, you can you can choose which ones you want to do first. I mean, you don't know exactly what to do in a casual playthrough. Um, but I am headed back to the I'm headed back to the pharmacy. Yes, that's something that's something I don't like about RE3 Remake. It doesn't let you. Uh, it doesn't really let you backtrack a lot of the time. As you go through, it barricades you off from previous sections. Like I said, the entire game sometimes feels like you're in a vacuum. You're just getting sucked forward and there's no going back. Which is the total opposite of this game. Question mark? Would you like me to explain or is that about something else? Crows! Crows? Get off me, crows. Uh-oh. Alright, let's keep going. Dogs now? to the boutique is locked. I'm gonna kick this cheerful sandwich. Yo, Gats, thank you for the gifted sub. Alright, so we're going so we're going to see how Dario is. Yeah, the lighting has changed in this section now. All right, what's going on in here? Oh no. Oh no. Dario! Wait, Jill has nothing to say about it? That's weird. You can't even inspect it? Sort of bad. Dario's memo. I can't help but wonder if anyone will read these words, but writing them will help me maintain my sanity, if nothing else. After I've become a meal for those undead monsters, will the GIs responsible for sealing off the town laugh upon discovering my corpse? So this is how it's supposed to end. I don't want to die, I'm just not ready. My wife, daughter, mother, my entire family has been killed, but none of that matters anymore. Right now my life is the only important thing, that's all that matters. I never would have pictured my end to be like this. I had so much left to do. Rather than becoming a salesman, I should have tried my hand at being a novelist. It's what I've always wanted. But my mother would only tell me you have a long way to go. Why did I ever listen to her? But it looks like the end for great Dario Rosso. Novelist extraordinaire, cut down before his prime. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, so in the remake, Dario is in the remake. He's the guy when you first go through the first area, he's screaming and he goes into the little that thing, whatever you call it, um, storage container and locks himself in. And you can shoot the storage container and he'll say some one-liners when in RE3 remake, but uh, that whole first section, like the first 15 minutes of this game in RE3 remake, you're just pushed through. And then once you reach the end, which is where you meet Nemi, um, you can't go back anymore. You can't inspect anything. It's just that area is rest in peace. I like when I literally just say facts like that. Like, that's a fact. That is what the game does. I, I mean, no one said anything now, but I do get comments like, STOP HATING ON THE GAME! And I'm literally just saying, like, comparing the two and saying a fact about RE3 Remake, but it's so bad, it, it is bad, it makes the game fucking bad, that it seems like I'm making fun of it, but really I'm just comparing the two games. Okay, is this barrel back? I don't think it is. All right, uh, now does this open? I can't remember. I guess not. Does this ever open? I thought it did. But I'm I'm glad. With this kind of scenario, you guys can see what it's like putting up YouTube videos or being a streamer. Everyone on Twitch can say a thousand nice comments to you, but the moment you receive one negative one, you want to stop streaming and stop making content because it makes you feel like shit. It's just like when I talk about games. I could say a thousand good things about RE3 Remake, and then the moment I say one bad thing, all you do is shit on the game, der der. But everyone ignores the positive comments and pays attention to the negative. Which in RE3 Remake's defense, there's not much many positive things you can say, so. Okay, um, oh, we're gonna have to come back here, actually. Stop wasting shotgun ammo! This is cool. So, as I was saying earlier, back to, um, this. One sec. Um, when you do backtrack, there is stuff to do. So... We do know we need to use a square hole here, so if we find a crank later on, we will be able to access that area. Oh, RE3 Remake nailed Hunters. Hunters are some of the best in RE3 Remake. I didn't know how they were going to do Hunters correctly, um, but giving them the protective, like, armor is was a really good idea. Because all I can imagine is, like, Hunters with over-the-shoulder shooter like RE2 and RE3 Remake, all I pictured is like them being really squishy and too easy to kill and just come up, come off as pushovers, but the protective plating exposing and knocking it off exposing their face was a really good idea. They, they, did, they did Hunters justice in that game. Okay, um, I have two yellow, so what we can do... Could make some acid rounds. Now see, we've reached we've come we've come we have a problem. I want to make I want to make freeze rounds for Nemi. Let's see, like I said, if we put the grenade rounds in the grenade launcher, we can no longer make freeze rounds. Because we can't get those grenade rounds out without making new rounds. Oh yes. Oops, I forgot. Double double C is is fr freeze. Okay. Perfect. Lol. 
All right, now let's put this away, and we'll, let's bring our... I don't know if Nemesis shows up here, so let's bring our pistol, too. All right, and we can save it. We can get rid of this. There we go. Um, oh yes, and freeze. I forgot to mention, um, for those of you who are new to RE3 Original, the freeze rounds are the most powerful rounds to use against Nemesis, but they're also the most um, material based, so you have to do two C's. Or, or you have to make C powders, which requires an A and a B. Um, but they're the most powerful round to use against Nemesis, so they're worth it if you're going to fight Nemi. And they're also worth it for boss fights. And in the remake, uh, freeze rounds were taken away, and mine rounds replaced them. And later on in this game, you'll see there is a mine thrower in this game. So they scrapped the mine thrower, took the mine rounds, and put them on the grenade launcher, and scrapped the freeze rounds. Uh, which I didn't really enjoy that. I Freeze rounds are literally my favorite ammunition type for my favorite weapon in the franchise, so I was very let down that they weren't in the remake. It would have been awesome to... You know how in RE2 Remake you shoot a zombie with an acid round? It may happen in 3 as well, but in 2 the limbs stuck around so it was a little cooler. But in RE2 Remake you shoot a zombie with acid rounds, their limbs melt off and fall onto the ground and just sit there or you can melt just parts of their body off with the acid rounds. I would have loved to see, or with flame rounds, you light their entire body on fire. It would have been awesome to see freeze rounds completely freeze a zombie in place. So then you shoot with your pistol, it just shatters. That would have been so cool. And you may think, well, that's OP. But for the amount of resources you need to use to make freeze rounds, it's not really OP. You're completely wasting it using it on a zombie. But a big letdown. You could have froze or freeze parts of a zombie, like shoot at their legs and it freezes both of their legs still so they can't move. Then they fall over, their legs shatter, and they crawl at you with, um, you know, it could have been really cool. I think freeze rounds were a giant, another giant missed opportunity. Um, but I digress. Let's continue. Um, so we're going to the pharmacy. Let's equip the pistol. All right, so should be able to use the, there is a fire hydrant. If I had a fire hose, I might be able to extinguish the fire over there. All right. Yes, I love the characters in RE3 Remake. I was saying that earlier. But Nikolai, there's an important part coming up here. So Nikolai in RE3 Remake says he's collecting test data the whole time. But you never see him collecting test data. Like, what is he... How is he going about that? So, just one second here. Let's pick that up. So there's the crank we were talking about that we'll need. Alright. Ah! <laughs> I hope I have some heals on me. Well, there's the poison we got to show off. Okay, let me go back. Strategically fighting um, that enemy in this game is very difficult because of all the different moves they can use on you. And each move is... Uh, um, they are very high agility. All right, so as I was talking about earlier with Nikolai, one thing I like in this game, as opposed to remake for Nikolai, I th oh god, I hope it's the right cutscene. It could be different. I haven't done this path in Wait. years, literally. 
Okay. What did you do? I had no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was infected. He was still conscious, now look, 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 he? look at him on his laptop. He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. The entire game he's on his laptop recording data. He's doing exactly what we know by the end of the game that he's doing or supposed to be doing. But in Remake, you never see him doing shit. He's always just like being an evil character. So, yeah, he's playing Solitaire. <laughs> Look at him. He's playing Tetris over there. Not now, I'm busy. Nikolai is examining the mercenary and using his PC. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I love every character in RE3 Remake, including Jill. I think Jill's also a better character in RE3 Remake. Controversial opinion. Um, but Nikolai makes a lot more sense in this game. Business facts. Order sheet. The liquid medicine named VTJ98 is suitable for, to cultivate the NET type virus. Therefore, we will need to order additional quantities of it. There's an ink ribbon, but we don't need that. It's a TV monitor. The main power is on. Chemical storage. Access to storage is controlled by the computer. Manager's report. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Some of the medicine in the storage room are unstable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times. You should personally check it every day. Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect. Try and remember that a machine is no more than a tool to be used by people. You must check all personnel personnel coming and going to the storage room. Many dangerous drugs are stored there. If any of them are missing, you have a serious problem on your hands. The door to the storage room is always locked, but when you let personnel into it, you will need to have them hand in their documents. And above all else, remember that if you find anything suspicious, contact your boss immediately. If you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everyone is familiar with. Don't forget that once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password from the terminal or the, of the PC for administration. All right, so this will be the second time I ever do predictions in my channel, but I feel like this is a good time to finally do it. So this isn't a one or two chance. How do I, how do I even do a prediction? Start prediction. Okay. You can only do two outcomes, so I hope it's one of the two. If it's Aqua Cure, then I win. All right. Alright, you guys win if it's Advil or Safsprin, I win if it's Aqua Cure. Alright, the prediction is up. This is a way to get more points for the channel. There you go. Predict, predict. I gotta use the bathroom really quick. I'll be right back.
righty. Let's see. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, shit! It was Agivel. Congrats, Agivillers. <laughs> oh! Don't waste your points already. Oh, shit. Wait, you guys got 100k for that? Oh! Okay. Emergency. One sec. saved one more time so if anyone doesn't understand the meme in the speed run for this game which I run this game pretty often it's my most played game on twitch uh, you have to guess the password so typically everyone puts in safsprint first and this is what happens. Error, error, you got it wrong. So then you go with the next option, which is Adreville. Adreville is actually the fastest to type in, but... Oh, and fun fact about Adreville, you can type in whatever the hell you want as the last letter, and it'll always work. Adreville. What? Okay. Rewind time. They f must have fixed it in the HD version, this version of the game. But that is, you can do it in every other version. Got him. That's happened to be so much this marathon. Some just bullshit, like ridiculous. Like, oh, just small thing I point out. It's like, oh, not in this version. Got him. I love this scene. And this is, again, I wish this was in Remake. It's so cool. because Nikolai shoots the guy and and the game is like, oh, you made a lot of noise. Here come all the zombies. Where are they all going? But if we want to talk about if the defense for not being in remake is that it came out of nowhere, uh, Nemesis literally vanishes by shooting his tentacle up into space and pulling himself up onto absolutely nothing, disappearing into thin air. So things not making sense, let's have a little word about the main character. Well, 
should have been main character. Shit! All right, let's get out of here. This place is swarming with zombies. Oh! Okay, we got her, we got her. And the aim afterwards. We got bit anyway. Whoa! Okay. I don't know if we have the ammo to take on Nemi. But we may. Alright. Let's do this. <sighs> thank you, Freedom, for the 11 months. And thank you, Whispers, for the two years. Thank you. And thank you, Garrett, for the 17. And Mirren, thank you for the 14. Yes, I always make that reference. Okay, I'm about to dig into RE3 Remake. Plug your ears. Um, and like I said, listen, this stream is about comparing the two and reviewing both games. I'm going to do RE3 Remake right after this one. Maybe not today. But what that person said in chat is partially right. And this is a sad fact about RE3 Remake. This game actually feels like the remake. Let's say they both had the exact same graphics, okay? Let's say they both had RE Engine graphics. This game would have vastly more content. And it would be the better game. No question. I mean, it, in my opinion, it already is the better game. The only thing that the or original would do better, remake, is the characters. Let's -a go. The, you know, I love doing this. Pretend, let's pretend the remake is the original. And pretend the original is the remake. Just for a second, bear with me. I love that when they remade this game, uh, this super linear game, I love that they added a choice system. It adds a lot of variation to, to every section of the game. Yada, yada, yada. You can, you know the road I'm going down. You can talk about this game like it's the remake and people would believe you like if you had a conversation with no images up or no no gameplay talking about both games you would hands down think this is the remake more areas more weapons more ammo types more mechanics more content in general an entire extra mode the facts, the actual factual information is saddening. Yes, and, that, and that's the that's the part that's hardest to swallow. This was a rushed game, and so it's looked upon as a little worse than RE2 original because they didn't take as much time on it. So when you remake a game, you want to fix that. You want to... Okay, the main problem with this game is that it was rushed. We are remaking this game. What should we do? And, well, what should we do? The answer was rush it even more than the original. Feels bad, man. Anyway, we could talk about RE3 Remake more once we're playing it. But this is about admiring this game. All right, so what's in here? Whoa, six. 
12. 18 grenade rounds in there. That's enough to kill everything in the game. <laughs> Not really, but that's a lot. Um, but I, I wouldn't let that deter you from getting excited about RE8. I think RE8 looks very promising, and it's... I brought this up before. I'm gonna love having these videos up of me saying this shit about RE8 and whatever else, and then I'm dead wrong about it all, and you go back and laugh. But you can tell Capcom is very, very passionate about RE8. They are very confident when they... Are, have been marketing the game and the game itself looks awesome. I think it looks like it's going to be an amazing game where because we're on the topic, let's take RE3 Remake for example, they dropped that trailer during a PlayStation state of play. The trailer was extremely confusing. I was in shock. My video is up. You can go watch my reaction. I didn't know what the hell I just watched. I didn't know if this was resistant or I didn't know if it was resistance DLC or or I didn't know what the hell I just watched. And then that was about it for the marketing. They dropped a picture on Twitter and Facebook of Nemesis and Jill and Carlos. People thought it was fan art for a while. And yeah, in terms of marketing, I can't really remember much else that happened. Uh, they dropped the release trailer too, which spoiled Dog Nemi. I didn't watch it though. Um, but with Ari Village, they are super confident. They are saying everything. Like, they are talking about it non-stop. They won't shut up about Village. <laughs> this is going to be like, coming next week, they're doing another presentation on Village. That's like the fourth one. RE3 Remake didn't even get one. Ah! Like, oh my god, they hit the wall. They keep hitting the wall. Like I said. When you backtrack, the game changes slightly, it adds new things to mix up the backtracking. Uh-oh. I haven't chosen the other option here in a long time. <laughs> Did it get a presentation? I haven't been here in so long. Oh my god! This is really cool. I guess Gravedigger shed its skin. God, that's cool. It's weird that skull and crossbones are down here. But maybe that's from Umbrella Experiments? I don't know. Or maybe... Grave Digger sucks the skin and flesh off. Hey, buddy. Nice wiener. I don't know if this decision changes anything. I don't think every single one of them changes stuff. I'm not sure, though. Like, this casual playthrough... I haven't experienced this game casually in years as well, I don't think. I know everything about the speedrun. One common misconception about me and playing these games. People assume I know everything about the games. I know everything about the speedrun. So if it's not in the speedrun, I don't know. And also, not only speedrun, if it's not in the randomizer, like if 
I do RE2 and three randomizers. Um, so I know where every item in the game is, or every item is as well in those games, but. All right, 13 acid rounds. Yo, Garrett, thank you for the sub. And thank you, Mitch, for the three months as well. All right, I may as well make a save here. Hey, B, how are you doing? All right, so next we can, um, oh yeah, and I don't think, when people do assume I know everything, I don't think you're crazy. That's a very rational thought to have, um, but yeah, I don't do, um, I don't research this game at all. Like, I don't research the Resident Evil games off stream or anything. So whatever's in the speed run is what I know, usually. It depends on the game. For this game, definitely. Like, I never casually play it anymore. It's my most played Twitch game. Like, I think I have a 1,200 hours stream for this game. Or no, like a 1,000 hours stream for this game. And probably 980 of those is speed running with one route where you don't do other stuff in the game or read anything or do anything else. Uh, so, where's the next area we could go? We could go down to the power station. So we need the battery. Yeah, I think this is a good inventory. Yeah, I always enjoy this game, no matter what. Oh God. Too many enemies here to kill. Yikes, acid rounds don't travel very far. And things like that, like I didn't know they didn't travel far. You use them for Gravedigger. So, ah. Uh. Downtown map. Let's look at the map, because it's important to this review. Can you zoom out? Not this button, not this button. Not this button, not this button. There we go. There are so many weird areas in this. To put it into perspective, for RE3 remake, um, see this is a lot of winding corridors and and odd areas a lot of alleyways in RE3 it is uh, I think like th three or four big squares and rectangles and then that's it so it's a lot different in this game so this is downtown. The police station. And uptown. Ah, here here we go. So uptown and downtown in the remake are uh squares. And so you can see why fans were a little let down with um the city section. Because it is absolutely nothing like the original. But this, it's not really fair to compare. Um, I think it's this section. It's not really fair to compare Uptown to RE3 Remake because you only go through Uptown in RE3 Remake for like five minutes and then you can never revisit it again. Yeah, I can't wait to play through Rev 1 and 2. I will be playing those. All right, so let's um, let's 
go. Um, let's get the shotgun. Yeah, I played Reverse. It's, uh, it's okay. It's uh, a couple hours of mindless fun. That's about it. Do you mean in Remake or this one? I'm not sure. Either way, cow killer. Yeah, Dark, but what what were the at release sales? Like what did what did RE5 and 6 sell on release month? Just refresh your page, water clock. That's your Twitch bugging out. Oh. RE7 is actually the fastest selling RE game. I, it's either RE7 or RE2 Remake is the fastest selling RE game ever made. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, it's, he does. No, he does talk about recording combat data. The thing is, you never see him doing it, but you see him doing it in this game. It's honestly a little funny that you see him do it in this. Like, it, it is pretty funny that he has his laptop out and he's typing away. <laughs> I'm gonna kick this cheerful sandwich. Thank you, Vlad Tepes, for the gifted sub. But maybe we'll see some surprises in RE3 Remake. I only played that game casually three times, and that was on release day. Should probably take the pistol. I think we'll be fighting Nemi. All right. Hey, Marco. Thank you, Sepperhot, for the forty-three months. Thank you. I don't pre-order RE games anymore, uh, just in case I get early access. Because if you get early access and you pre-order a, a game on Steam, uh, you can't activate early access until you refund the game on Steam. And when you refund it, you have to wait like a day grace period before you can activate your uh, early access. So I fucked myself over with a couple games doing that. All right, so now we should be able to take this. And there we go. RE6 at 13 million sales. Doubt RE7 will ever surpass that 10 years from now. Yes, but one thing that people aren't talking about right now. What was the budget for RE6? And what was the budget for RE7? Look that up. Ah! Okay, crows. Let's not waste our time with crows. I'm pretty sure... Correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe RE6 has one of the biggest budgets of a game ever. 
I know it's the biggest budget for a Resident Evil game. I'm not sure if it's the biggest budget for a game ever, but I just know it's the most for an RE game. They made a whole new engine for RE7 and the budget was smaller. That's nutty. A <laughs> hundred million? And what was RE7? Or I should have said back in the day. Like back when Shenmue came out, that was the biggest budget game, I believe. RE7 was th three? What? No way. Three million? That can't be right. Is that right? Okay, I have to get back on track. I'm getting way too off track. All right. That can't be right, though. Okay. Um, so we need to... We're going to put this away because I don't think we need it. And let's take these items for the upcoming Nemesis fight, I believe. about budget not how much it sold okay let's go down to this area so this area is vastly changed from the remake it's very small um, in the remake this is where the um, all the drain demos are all right so it's pistol ammo here run away from these enemies. Too many enemies to deal with. Oh, I don't have my green herbs here. Uh, you should expect some mindless fun for a few hours. Alright, let's take these. Guess we'll just make more acid rounds. <laughs> or we'll make a double B. There we go. Um, when operating the transformer, be sure to set this power transmitter to manual mode. The old system is prone to short circuiting. Um, I thought the... Uh, this is like a forgettable place in... Well, there's one cool thing in here, actually. There, actually, no, there's two cool things that happen here that are sort of memorable. Um, in Remake, I... I did like the section in RE3 Remake, the big changes they did to the fuse area. I liked the intro of, like, Jill getting the parasite put into her, and then you have to eat green herbs to cough it up. I thought that was really fucking cool. Like, that, that was awesome that green herbs are the counter to that infection. Um, but the, the area itself was a bit like, it was a very cookie cutter area. Like you've seen that kind of thing in a thousand different games. It was just sort of a copy paste, like infinite enemies, do your mission before you get overwhelmed. Eh. The intro was cool, but the, the formula was just, you know, it's not memorable, it's just like, okay, I've done this in like every Gears of War game. And something people don't know about this game. You ready? So, d whatever you get in the locker, the other item will be in this locker. Yay, the Magnum! Uh, 
I love this Rush song too. I think this is a huge upgrade from the Rush song in RE2. So let's increase the electricity output, see what happens. God, that is one of the memorable things I mentioned. I love that, that's so cool. This get blasted. All right. They poppin'. I think that's a pretty memorable part. The heads all popping from the electricity. And then the singed bodies here. And then the second one, I don't know if it's gonna happen on this playthrough. Uh, maybe? Oh, no, it's not going to. Okay, so we're gonna see Nemesis elsewhere. Excuse me, madam. Oh, no, it's not gonna happen because we killed him at the pharmacy. Alright. And now we can go to the gas station. Yes, I do wish they added the choices in the remake of 3. I think it would have been very cool. But the game was not... Like, you could tell that that system was totally scrapped very early in development. Like, from the get-go, I think. I do really like the multiple choices in this game. Alright, I guess we could give a save again. We can just come back here later. Oh yeah, we need to save it. Uh, thank you, Garrett, for the gifted sub. Thank you. No, I haven't played Fortnite, actually. I do think the game... It's the kind of game where I'll never play at this point, because I like getting into competitive games when they're fresh, so you can actually be a good player. But getting into a competitive game late, enjoy getting stomped for your first, like, four months of playing. I couldn't imagine getting into League of Legends right now. Like, going from a new player to a challenger rank. Oh my god. Ever. Zombies! Okay. Oh, that's right, ultimate failure. Let's go do that. The Mikhail scene's really cool. I forgot about that. I haven't. No, I haven't played League in like over a year now. Okay, so let's go. God, I love the atmosphere in this game. All right. Kyle! This music. Oh, here we go. Do it, Mikhail, do it! 
He's in danger. Oh! Mihail, do you have some kind of death wish? My people, they were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you see those monsters are also the victims of Umbrella? Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. Man, Mikhail's so much better in the remake. Holy shit. <laughs> like... <laughs> Sorry. I feel so useless. Don't. You fought hard and have the wounds to prove it. But... I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. Sag. I could not save my men. Kyle appears to be in pain and suffering. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, I love Mikhail in Remake because he's like a father figure almost. Jill, no! Yeah, I think get off my train shit bird. So this game has two of the most memorable moments in the franchise. Uh, the Brad's death and jumping through the the window is one of the best jump scares in the franchise, but I think another one of the best moments in the franchise is from, uh, is from, um, the remake. Get off my train, shitbird. Yo, Fogwa, thank you for the 38 months. Thank you. All right, let's go to the gas station. Another section that's not in the remake. You can see the gas station. You run by it with Carlos, but you don't go in. And a lot of defense for like, oh, well, it's just the gas station. It doesn't matter. It's just the park. It's so small. Why bother? Why, or why do you care? That's the thing. It's so small, yet it's not in there. It takes two seconds. The DeLorean, by the way, the best car in the world. I guess the clock, yeah, the clock tower is a different story. And we got red powders here. Okay. Jill! Hey, Carlos. Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? The zombies are getting restless. It is soaked with machine oil. Jill! What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. See? Hey, calm down. It does make sense, guys. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Carlos! 
You get an entirely... I think you get a cinematic here if you do it in a different order, right? Thank you, Dark, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the 50 emotes you can use here and ever on Twitch, everybody. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, depending on your route, different stuff happens here. Um, yeah, Nikolai is here. So, oh, can you actually go outside? And Mr. Genesis with the five gifted subs. Thank you. Eat this! Ah! <laughs> ah! Thank you, Mr. Genesis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Carlos! No! Thank you, thank you. Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Okay. I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Carlos is not nearly as good a character in this game. So that is one thing. That is one of the only things the remake did much better. The characters were super lacking in this game. All the side characters are just like super throwaway. When you compare them to, the, to people like Barry and Rebecca, um... They were super, super lackluster. Or Ben, Chief Irons, Sherry. Like, the side characters in this game, yikes. I like them because I love this game. But, like, are they good characters? No. Are they good characters in the remake? For the most part, yeah. The Carlos is fantastic. So for those of you who don't understand this puzzle, I press C and now D is unlit and B is lit up. Okay. I press B, all three of them are unlit. It lights up the one beside it. Or it just changes it to the opposite. The dodge. So in RE2, when you when Marvin gets up as a zombie and he's and it plays that really intense song, this is used in the same moments as that song, and it is uh, it is that song but slightly changed around a little. I fucking love this. I hate the one in RE2. It's one of my least favorite songs, but this one. I love that scene. I wish that was, you know. Yeah. All right, folks. Anyone mind me playing hero this time? doing it for me if I'm not dead here if you stand on the stairs he can only punch you he can't grab Thank you. 
was about to say, I'm gonna die here. I was literally gonna open my mouth and be like, I'm gonna kill myself, damn it. That's one reason you might not want him spam punching you. God, I love that intro. Resident Holy shit, that was loud. You like the trick, guys? Do 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 do. I wanted to play hero. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Do forgive me. Do forgive me for the trick. I'm sorry. I wanted to play hero. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Thank you, Chris Boy, for the two months. Thank you. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, the Japanese versions are easier than the U.S. I said that earlier, but um, enemies deal more damage in this version of the game. Which is not why I died, I just didn't heal. Well, I mean, it is why I died. That punch wouldn't kill you in Japanese, but... Yeah, I'm super pumped to play RE8. Okay. I did go check Dario, yeah. I did mostly everything you can do in a playthrough. Eat this. Ah! <laughs> ah! Eat this. We'll get a different cutscene this time. Carlos! I think. Oh, never mind. Now you get the same one. Just the gas station's on fire and we're no. in no rush to leave. Game Relax. sucks. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? Game sucks. Where's the replayability? But see, oh, fine. you know, this is even worse. <sighs> that hero stuff is harder than it looks. The fact that this cutscene didn't change is even worse for RE3 Remake because it's something the remake could have changed. What a remake is supposed to do. Take the faults of the original and improve them. Oh, you do get a different cutscene. Ouch, my ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Never mind, game's, game's awesome. Game's awesome. Game's awesome. 
Let's go! Ouch, my ears are ringing. That's an epic cutscene, too. Alright, no more fucking around. Stars. No swag steps, Nemi. I'm using my grenade launcher. No more fucking around. Okay, we're at fine health. Should we check our health? Nah, we're fine. Okay, yellow caution. Okay, we're good. Okay. Still yellow, we're fine, we're fine. What can go wrong? That's not good. Now, for those of you who are realizing, acid rounds fucking suck versus Nemi. Surprise. Excuse me, princess? We're fine. We did it! Stars. Stars! All right, now we get the best shotgun in the franchise. Who's ready for this? It actually sucks, but um, the look of it... It is the Terminator 2 shotgun, baby! Let's go! Move out of my way, fuck boys! Yeah, I wish... I wish we had infinite ammo so I could quick shot the shotgun. No, I didn't make enhanced ammo. I could show it off, I guess. Yeah, let's show it off. I may as well. But you can't use it with the other pistols, so it's sort of annoying. Alright. Oh my god, I don't even have enough. Yikes. I don't know. Do, will it count yellows as well? Damn it. It doesn't. I think that we need to do one more. Okay, let's make that shotgun. Oh yeah. The Western Custom. Another thing greatly missed in the remake. It is the Terminator 2 shotgun. Effective for close range battle. Let's go show it off. It's a one-hander as well, so you run fast with it. You run faster with one-handers in this game. Why wasn't this in remake? Oh, it's so cool! I need the other camera angle. Alright, I'll try and quick shoot it. It's it's hilarious if you quick shoot. I guess I'll waste my ammo. Stop wasting shotgun ammo! <laughs> eagle is my favorite gun in the game anyway, so I don't care that we made a ton of pistol bullets. I love the eagle. But see, it's like... Just... I know I apologize a thousand times, but we have to talk about both games. That's just how it is. Um, it hurts even more for me talking about RE3 Remake, and obviously I'm going to dislike it less than your other person. Yes, it has. it's very shiny, it's got great voice acting, it's got great gameplay, and great graphics, but other than that, it's a complete waste of money. It's not worth the money it costs. But things like taking things out in the original that are so good, like the, like my favorite weapon in the game, my favorite weapon in the franchise, and my second favorite weapon in the franchise, the shotgun, just hurts so much. And my favorite ammo in the franchise, <laughs> the freeze rounds. Like all three of those things are things that any normal person just thought to themselves they're definitely going to be in the game because it 
you know, it's got it's got to have the quality of RE2 remake, if not RE1 remake. So they'll be there, and they weren't there. But a plus for this game, these gun those these two guns and freeze rounds are so cool, and they're only in this game. One of my favorite parts of the game. And then the downside to RE3 remake, none of them are in there. A plus and a minus. Let's continue on through the game though. I have a lot more to say. Well, there'll be nothing to say about the clock tower in RE3 remake. <laughs> it's not fucking there! Now there is stuff to say if that it, if if it was in the remake. So there will be stuff to say. And thank you, some 70s guy, for the seven months again, and the two gifted subs. And thank you, Blue Mage, for the five months. Thank you, thank you. Everyone's been so generous. It has been nutty. Thank you. You can see it from a distance, and boy, is it beautiful in that game. I actually, that's one of my favorite areas in RE3 Remake. When you're headed to the clock tower, it looks so cool. Like, that area is awesome. It reminds me of the area in RE0 when you're headed to the to that clock <gasps> The clock tower in RE0. Oh, it's so cool. Oh. All right. PB is, I don't remember, 41, 47? So if you actually kill the worm here, I don't, he won't, sh he will have much less health in the next fight. Wormy squirmy. All right, let's see if we can kill him. He does a lot of damage though. This is a scary fight to do. I don't know how he works, honestly. I don't know how to kill him, really. I, I don't think I've ever done this before. Can you attack here? I should have used my acid rounds. Worm is weak to acid rounds. Be almost dead. He's gone. So now, when he shows up to the next boss fight, he'll have less health. And I don't actually think. I don't think Grave Digger in this game is. I like. This section's cool. It's pretty scary. Like, falling down here near your casual playthrough is pretty spooky because, like, he can kill you in what? Two hits or three? Um. And it's significant, yeah. Like, you you will one-cycle him. Um, I am playing on hard. I don't think Gravedigger is the best boss fight. But I do think it could be improved. Oh my god, talk about boss fights. Gravedigger in op er, uh, Umbrella Chronicles. That must be one of the worst fights in the freaking any game. Uh, they may release a demo, but no, I won't poop myself because I'm not the biggest fan of demos. It'll be cool to play, though. Yeah, I was shocked when that happened. All right. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, Here take, take this. this. Flame rounds? Thank you. Okay. Uh, Nikolai? 
won't, won't be joining us. Be joining us. He understands. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. I, see, Carlos would have been a lot better here if he said, let's -a go. I'll operate the cable car. Let's -a go. But Kyle appears to be in pain and suffering. <laughs> Still? It's looking good. Then he just keeps him. I am not gonna fight Nemi. Th those aren't the choices either. Mikhail! Okay, so get off my train shipbird is amazing, but I also love this one too. He doesn't have a one-liner, but this scene's so fucking cool. There's no point to fight Nemesis here. He doesn't fall, he doesn't die. You don't get anything out of it. And I don't have the ammo on top of that. Mikhail! Stars. Chill! Get out of the cable car now! Mikhail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! I love this. The only reason I love that cutscene is because Nemi's voice actor does such a fucking good job. I, just hearing him no, go, like, the brakes are out. in pain, I love. Ugh. God, Nemi sounds so cool in this game. And this song. Dude, this song actually... I was talking about this the other day. This song actually played uh, in a trailer. Some 19 train crash, 19 hours. All right, so this is the non-speed run. Uh-oh. The clock tower, baby. The herbs, baby. The crows, baby. Get off, you fuckers! Caution. Crotion. Please stop. Two things that RE3 remake cut out of the game in the same room. Crows and a clock tower. <laughs> I don't think crows would have been good in the RE engine, though. It would have been hard to hit and annoying. All right, nice piano. It looks as if it has not been used for a long time. Love this song. Hey, sh 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 how are you doing, sir? God, I love how dark this song is. It's like you're in a new environment, but is it safe? And this song's like, nope, it's not, fuck boy. Go back to once you came, you piece of shitball. Yeah, this save room's awesome. Little chapel. Do 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 do. Shit! 
same. Carlos. Carlos, I don't believe it. You're alive. New cutscene. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of this town. What are you talking about? We made it! You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No, if we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Uh. Oh! So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it. Damn, Carlos. I haven't seen that cutscene in a long time. Does he actually go over here? Definitely not. I can't handle it. He didn't give me freeze rounds. This cutscene sucks. Carlos in the other cutscene gives you freeze rounds. My ears are actually ringing right now. No joke. I don't know why. All right, let's take the first aid spray um, and the map. It was my left ear. An old music box, its melody is out of order. There's something written on the lid. Do, 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 do. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Oh yeah, it's different on this version. It's random on this version, actually. Even worse. On on the Chi or Japanese version, it's not random. Or, like, you guys know it to be random. Like, it is random what it starts off as, but the solution's always up, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. There is a version that it's random. Or maybe we just got lucky there. Oh, GameCube is fixed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'll also be able to show off a, a, a speed trick for a, a pic, art picture postcard. A picture postcard of an antique clock. The following verse is printed. Give your soul to the goddess, put your hands together and pray before her. Ouch! Ow! Grenade rounds? Don't mind if I do. I love the clock tower. Little chessboard. A picture of the main character of the clock tower games. No, not really, but it sort of looks like her. Thank you, Rusted Elephant, for the two months. Thank you. And the kind words. The th thank you. All right. I'm making some freeze rounds. So sue me. Cracked and won't open. Oh, 
shit! Thank you, Dragon Balls, for the 200 bits. Thank you. Um, there are some cool uh, RE4 mods. Just not many. So, if we don't kill Nemi here, so we can knock him down, or we can, we can, um, I am going to hit him with the, oh, we'll just see when we get there, but you can, oh, here's the first time spiders show up, by the way, Nemi roar, that's RNG. Spiders! Destroy- oh! God, you know what would have been awesome? Maybe this is why they didn't do Clock Tower. Over the shoulder, being able to look off the clock tower onto Raccoon City. Oh, that would have been so cool in the remake. Oh, it would have been one of the best images you could get in the franchise. Probably frame rate drop. Yeah. Sounds expensive, exactly. They could have just pulled Nari's, an FF7 remake and put a JPEG in the background. People seem to be satisfied with that. All right, let's do this. All right, the thing said up, down, up, up, down, up. Oh my God, this is, no, never mind. Now the director about the characters, personally, if there had been two main characters, I would have chosen Brad as the other, not Carlos. Yes, he did become a zombie, but I think that could have been an interesting alternative story for him. Well, that's cool. Bang your fucking heads, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, now that's a bop. That's a bop right there. That's a bop. That's a bop right there. Oh yeah. Um, but again, have to talk about RE3 Remake. The One of the main things RE3 Remake is missing to appease the fans of the original. Yes, the clock tower. But more importantly, why the clock tower is 
RE3 Remake has zero puzzles. It has one puzzle, but the solution is literally in front of you. Clock Tower has three puzzles in it. Or wait, one, two. It has, you know what? I'm counting the gears as a puzzle. Got them. Nah, it has two puzzles in it. In the remake, it could have had three. It could have been a little flesh, like you're supposed to flesh stuff out in a remake. So yeah, it could have had the three puzzles, which the game is severely missing puzzles. Um, so that's one reason that it sucks not having the clock tower. Thank you for the 100 bits, Nerfin. Thank you. Yeah, who would have thought? Um, I don't know. I'd assume RE4 Remake is after RE8. Okay, so we are going to... You actually get a different clock tower fight here if you don't kill him twice. So we'll kill him once with the core. show back up so he, he's gonna get up again as he always does because he doesn't stay down thank you fake king for the 200 bits thank you all right here he comes he did drop something but i don't need it right now Use the Chronos key. All right, so we got some spiders here. Again, this is a really cool area. I love that spider area. It's covered in cobwebs. It's really cool. Um, this is another song I love. So eleven o'clock. This is the best luck. So this puzzle basically. Um, I can explain it, or I will try. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to get it, so. Obsidian ball, we read about this earlier. Amber ball. Thank you, Jimbus. Let's push this out of the way. can't do it. S spare a bell for the clock tower. It would take an incredible strength to move it, Carlos. Looking at you. Mind thrower rounds for the mind thrower. Alright, so. Future goddess. There's a tray under the picture. Present goddess. There's a tray under the picture. And past. So, if my calculations the cap calculations are correct. So, future goddess. So, this should move it in the future. So, let's see. What's the obsidian do? Obsidian moves it forward four times. So obsidian counts as four pieces. All right, what's the amber do? Whoa. Six? And crystal, what's that do? Moves it forward just two hours okay well what does amber do here moves it forward okay that be can't be right because we need it to reach 12 like the other clocks okay what's obsidian do so we know amber moves it the most so let's see what obsidian does so obsidian just moves it too and let's see what amber moves it if we put it in the past Three hours. Oh, perfect. And there it is. I don't know if there's another trick to this other than trial and error or testing. 
Is there? Is there something I'm missing? Because I literally don't know. stones thing from the past crystal ball for seeing the future no that that's not that's not it because crystal's not always in this unless it changes okay this has this has many solutions it's not always 11 o'clock it can be 11 9 7 6 5 and 10 uh like five is crystal obsidian amber, six is crystal amber obsidian, seven is obsidian crystal amber, nine is obsidian am amber crystal. I know it's okay. So. Uh, Mercenary's pocketbook. September 26th. It's only been three hours since the mission started, but the team is down to me and Campbell. The number of zombies is far greater than we expected. There is no hope left for this city. We have already injected the antibody for the virus, but I'm not sure that it will work. I don't know if I will survive. September 27th. We managed to reach the clock tower. Out of desperation, we robbed some wounded members of their weapons and used surviving citizens as decoys. We were taught to do this in order to survive in the battlefield but I never enjoyed it. However, a girl showed up at the clock tower before me. She is one of the survivors. She looks just like my sister before she starved to death. September 28th. I wanted to evacuate as soon as possible, but the girl didn't. Her father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. I really wanted to save the girl, but Campbell said, all I care about is our lives. That's how I felt before, but now the clock tower has become a dangerous place and I don't want to make any more mistakes. So, just gathering from what everyone's saying, it is sort of just trial and error. You have to put them down at least once to figure out the solution. That's as far as I gather. Ah! Why am I dicking around? He got webbed. Uh, the mine thrower is right over here, actually. I wouldn't have been sad if they took away the mine thrower, to be honest. I, 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 I don't know if I'm alone here, but I think the mine thrower sucks. Was that Dario's daughter? I was thinking that as I was reading it, but is that a fact? He's holding something in his hand. Operation instruction. Um, order for UBCS echo team. It seems like it's Dario's daughter, but I'm not sure if it's a fact. Um, Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation and then evacuate the remaining citizens to the clock tower. Along the civilians... Along the civilians. Remember to give priority to the employees of Umbrella's affiliates. Remember to stay alert because the infected have a high endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Evacuation procedure. Once the mission is complete, or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, evacuate immediately. We'll deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs to the yard in front of the clock tower. When you are ready for evacuation, ring the bell of the clock tower to signal the helicopter. Here's the mine thrower. You ready, folks? Oh, wow. It puts mines in the ground. If people walk over... They explode. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh. 
What? Oh, yeah. Stop wasting ammo. Thank you, Chaining, for the 10 months. You guys want to see what this is? Surprise! Yeah, the mine thrower in the remake definitely got an improvement. Or well, the mine thrower is not in the remake, but the mine rounds are much more satisfying. I like the mine thrower. I actually like the mine rounds in the remake. Um... Oops. Beautifully ornamented gadget. So this will be a, a new fight. If you haven't seen, if you're used to watching the speed run, this is actually a, a slightly different boss fight. Just in general. We don't need this. Uh, I, I love this part of the game. I love every part because it's my favorite freaking, it's one of my favorite games on earth. Sorry. We beat it! GG! Saved. Down here! It's finally over. Huh? No! God, that's cool. God damn. And the camera, yeah. Who didn't want to see that? Okay, wait, will this be the different fight? Maybe not. Carlos, where are you? Oh! That's how she gets infected in this. Oh! Get him, Carlos. So we should kill the rocket launcher, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we do get the different fight. Nice. No rocket launcher in this fight. Instead, we fight fucking OP as shit, Nemi. Ton of damage, I'm afraid. Yeah, I love this one too. I love like let's let's get this out of the way now, halfway through the playthrough. I love every song, every environment, every line in this game because it is literally one of my favorite games ever made. It is my favorite Resident Evil ever made. And yeah, so. You know what I like better about the remake? Uh. Woof, 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 woof. I wish we could hear some barking sounds coming from the fire. Woof, 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 woof. Uh, uh. Woof, Jill! Woof, 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 woof. Jill! Because he turns into Dognemy. Hey, don't die on me. Thank 
you a donut for the 47 months. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Jill! Jill! Oh, yeah. October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. My first RE game was RE1. I played them all in order and when they released. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Thank Whatever you. you do, don't let that virus beat you. Thank you, TG, for the 600 bits. Thank you. By the way, let me make this clear. I think Tigrex, or sorry, I mean Dog Nemesis in RE3 Remake is really cool. I actually really like that transformation. The problem I have with it is that um, the fun in this, the, the most fun part in Resident Evil 3 Remake is the demo section. When Nemesis is following you around the city in his human like form, and you can fight him if you choose to, and you can down him and loot the items that he drops. That is the fun for me in this game. Every time Nemi shows up, you can fight him or you can run from him. Either way, you were having a fuck ton of fun. That whole aspect of the game is gone once he turns into a dog. Because you're not going to have this giant fucking 30 ton dog chasing after you throughout the city or throughout any of the gameplay. That would just be ridiculous. So my problem is that he, he should have turned into a dog on your way into the lab or right before the lab. Or something along those lines. Not like a third through the game and then, you know. And I, I think that's a core problem in RE3 Remake. The, the fun in this game is Nemesis. Nemesis is... He's really fun in Remake. For the ten minutes that he's there. Everything else... After, this, after the demo section, he just turns into a cutscene simulator. He, if there's a cutscene coming up, he's in it. He's the star of it. And... Yeah. Thank you, Anvil, for the 11 months. And thank you, TG, for the 600. But I don't have just nice things to say with this game. I have a problem with a Nemi form. I, I don't like Final Nemi in this game at all. I think it, the whole fight's stupid. I love Final Enemy and Remake though. God, that fight's awesome. No joke. And the music, they they nailed Final Enemy in the remake in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think it's one of the best final bosses. I love it. Nothing gave me more joy than watching people that are known for beating insanely hard games. Like watching all the Dark Souls speedrunners die to Inferno Final Enemy for like four, five, six hours straight. Just like, nice, finally a fucking Resident Evil game where people are struggling to finish. I loved seeing that shit. And I just love hard stuff in general in games. And Inferno Final Nemi? No, no, not just Disc. All the Souls, I watched, well, not all the Souls runners ever. I watched a lot of people fight Inferno Nemi and take a while. It took me a while too. And it was awesome to see. And the reason I specified Dark Souls speedrunners is because I've seen I haven't watched the blind playthrough of Dark Souls for a lot of runners, but that fight took me longer than every Souls boss, and I've beaten all the games, 
That fight took me longer than every Souls boss except for Orphan. Which is amazing that a boss in a Resident Evil game is harder than every single Souls boss ever in the history of that franchise except for one. Ah! Ow. Okay, can you stop typing in caps mode, Zia? It's like the fucking 40th sentence in a row. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, zombies. We got one! Imperial March, they got it! Um, so, sorry, I'm getting off track a little. Um, this section is probably one of the weaker parts in the game. I, I do think the hospital is cool in this game, but it was greatly improved in the remake. The remake, well, well, <laughs> I love how the best thing in the remake still has an awful section like the hospital's god tier area in the remake until the end and then it fucking sucks but at least before that that shootout like I love it's the best part in the game and it also has the worst section in the game why why okay if you look really closely here you can see a dino crisis poster I think it's in the top left here it is it's only for one frame there it is there it is there it is look Left, left, left middle. And the introduction of hunters. Oh, shh. Stop doing that. If you spam dodge a hunter in this game, it just gets you killed. Love this song, by the way. In the beginning, the hospital was just a place where vaccines were stored and wasn't even considered a stage. The change to a main tunnel with the extra development time and resources brought a lot us to expand it. Cool. Um, yeah, lower pitched hunters because different different versions of this game have different voices for things. I love this song though. I play every every October. I do horror month, so I play horror games every day for the entire month. I know a lot of you think that's all I do. But I play a lot of different games on this channel. And if you're from YouTube, yeah, it seems like all I do is play RE because I upload 85% or 90% of my videos on YouTube are Resident Evil. But that's just because I know they'll do well, so I upload them. Um, but yeah, love this song. It's so good. It's so scary. <laughs>
But yeah, the, the scenery here is really cool. Like all the dead bodies, the dead doctors. I do like the hospital. I just think the remake did it way better. There are numerous numbers of medical cards. And I love hunters in this game. I think this game has my favorite hunters. I would have loved to see them in remake, but that's fine because they did a really good job with hunters in the remake anyway. So hunters were handled beautifully in RE3 remake. Um, I do wish they were the red ones though with all the brain and flesh all over them, but that's all right. This is a mod, and it depends on the game, Blackest Bird. But in this game, you have to be in caution. So this is an air. This this room is straight out of Outbreak. This exact room is in Outbreak. I also prefer the OG Hunter Gammas, but I don't hate the Hunter Gammas in the remake. I think they're fine. Unfinished coffee. Wow, that, that pisses Carlos right off. Ooh, I love those candies. All right, so depending on the floor you choose first, you'll get a different cutscene. Um, we're going to go to the fourth one because I like that cutscene more. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. Yeah. However... This part's not nearly as good as Remake. I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard! Eight percent ammo. We'll be fine. Right? Right? I've never played this game! Are we gonna be okay? Zombies! Oh! Get fucking wrecked! Stay down, asshole! Some evil games are hard. Oh! I didn't even mention another one of my favorite things in the game. The zombie sounds. Oh! It's not that the hospital's bad in this game. It's just like the remake so crazily fleshed it out and and it puts salt in the wound imagine if the clock tower and the rpd station it's hard to do the rpd station but the rpd station was lackluster in the remake yeah there's a lot of one-liners that are funny from carlos but um it would have been way better with jill regardless rpd station was a bad example it's not that the hospital sucks in this game. It's fine. It's that the remake super fleshed it out and added some substance all through. And the memorable lines with, with Nathaniel Bard and the room with where you first see the hunters. Like, the hunter shows up. And then the room with the two hunters is so cool. You can hear them scratching at that body. You don't know if something's going to break in the window as you're crossing the hall to get to them. Like, they handled the hospital really well in remake. And which gives me... Which is salt in the wound because it's like... They have the talent to make this forgettable area in RE3 a super memorable area. Imagine what they could have done with Clock Tower. Holy shit. Or the city, for example. But see, what they did to the hospital, they undid to the Clock Tower and to the city. They fleshed out the hospital and they they condensed the city and the Clock Tower just doesn't exist. Okay, and a special cutscene because we went to the fourth floor. Don't shoot! No! Hey guys, meet Tyrell. <laughs> Nikolai, you're still alive? You saw what happened. What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! Uh oh.
That's all you need to know. You okay? Carlos has nothing to say about this. Nothing to say about anything here. Virus related notices. That's your takeaway, Carlos? Yikes, this game though. It appears to be a book on general medical science. Unknown creatures are soaked in formalin. Will you take the sick room key? Yeah. Or forgettable area as in like when you th like in 10 years time when you think back to your memories of RE3 like oh I remember RE3 I played that 10 years ago you'll remember like Nami breaking through the RPD station window you'll remember Brad getting killed by the tentacle um, but you probably won't remember anything from the hospital that's all I mean by forgettable uh, photo D the zombies are walking it says, the effect of the T-virus on the backside. Zombies. Lord and Acropolis looks awesome. Make sure that you return the materials to their original positions after inspection. It's weird that Carlos has nothing to say about that. Thank you for the 100 bits, eccentric meal. Thank you. And thank you, Kaleidoscope, again for the 5. And Santiago for the 34. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, so. A doctor's body. He's holding a slip. The numbers 531 are printed on the slip. That's best RNG. Oh, God. Pretty low on ammo. Jeez. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was going to say, I was like, dude, they don't really give you a lot of ammo for this section, but I forgot we played the Imperial March on my machine gun. So you have to mirror this room. That's how you do this puzzle. So see that's on, see that is on that wall. Now we put it against that wall in the other room. Okay, people always ask, why, how do you know the solution in Yolo Carlos? It's a one in four chance. No, it's a 50-50. Look, you see that we can see the drawer, see the, the black handles, the drawers to this? That means it has to go against this wall. It has to. If we could just see the back of the cabinet, that means you have to push it against this wall. So we know what it is. It's five, three, one. Oh wait, let's check the picture first. Arclay Mountains. Ah. Yeah, we'll probably be done with the marathon in the in ten days, so we could do the uh, Florida Necropolis. All right, so five, three, one, like the doctor slip said. And here's a part to the vaccine. We we'll take the vaccine base. Large machines are built into the wall. Okay, we can't kill the hunters in here because we don't have the ammo anymore. So I'm just gonna run on by. I don't think there's much to see in this room anyway. Oh, we're in caution. I could have died there. Yo, pickle. Hunter Gammas. I said this while we are playing Outbreak. I'll say it again every time they show up. People ask, what's my favorite enemy in the franchise? Hunter Gammas are my favorite enemy in the franchise. I don't know why. They're just really fucking cool. Froggy hunters. Froggy. 
I really like this room, though. It seems that they were cultivating a part of a creature's cells here. Medical Instruction Manual. Umbrella Medical Services. North America Division, Douglas Rover. No, I just mean in terms of the common enemies, not like... Doesn't include Nemi and stuff. What's my least favorite enemy in the franchise? Uh, Design-wise or mechanic? Mechanic, probably... The fucking monkeys in RE0. Um, Design-wise... Um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. The, um, the liquors in Resident Evil Remake are pretty bad, <laughs> but I don't know. Bandersnatch, I, I think Bandersnatch design is cool, but yeah, mechanically Bandersnatch is annoying as hell too. Hey Womp, and thank you Emil for the 200 bits. All right, in order to activate the synthesizers to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedure as detailed below. Supply enough energy to the system, set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you will need to control the five levers. This will cause two gauges to increase or decrease. If you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine will be complete. Okay, another puzzle. This game is loaded with puzzles. It seems to be an electric power supply switch. I just set next to the cultivation tank. Yeah. That's scary. All right, so synthesizer. just tried to fuck it up. The, the answer is 3-1. Or... And we get the vaccine. Vaccine that is effective against the virus infection. Nice. Oh! Shit! Run! Not much to do in here. I could try and kill the hunters, I guess. Alright. Um, let's see. Bottles of various viruses and other things. How do you know that, Carlos? So, it's sealed with a complicated lock and cannot be opened. If you go down this way, there's a cutscene that deals with this right there. Extreme caution is needed when handling chemicals. See, there's nothing too crazy in the hospital for in the original. Like, it's where the hunter gammas are. It's really cool. And the hunters in general. But yeah, other than oh shit, I forgot. Uh oh, this is bad. Wait. I can't. Let me hit the fucking. Thank God. Hey, Spitfire. All right, let's get out of here. So overall, the, the hospitals, it has some cool, like the two hunter types are really, really cool. I love the design and it's a pretty scary place with the music. Um, but overall, other than the hunters, it's pretty forgettable.
Alright, and I wish this is what happened with the hospital in the remake, where it just ended like this. But, I think they didn't do this because the game's just insanely short already. Imagine if there wasn't a... A scripted fight. Wow. Come on. There was a hospital here, but it's gone now. <laughs> is, th is that your thought in your head, Carlos? Seriously? Locked with a simple lock. The raccoon park. Now back to the clock door. So this was like to put it into perspective of how much was cut from this game or from remake. After so we've done the clock tower and the hospital and now we're headed to the park section and then we're headed to the graveyard and then to the shack. Then we kill Gravedigger. Then we go to the sewer. Then we go up back through the park and then we're at the dead factory. In the remake it goes city, hospital, lab in this game it goes city clock tower hospital park sewer lab the sewer is very small though it's like not really sewer but the park is like a pretty big area like it's nutty how much was cut and half the city's gone too so you know well well sorry no in the remake no 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 that was unfair of me no 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 it goes, in the remake, it goes city, sewer, city, um, RPD, but I didn't count the RP, eh, anyway, whatever, you guys know, a lot was cut, feels bad, man, a lot was cut, but at least we got a sewer section. Fat Josie, thank you for the two months. I don't have the ammo to kill Nemi here. And I don't know how to bug him out either. Shit, he's gonna go kill Jill. I forgot. Yeah, so if if you if you leave him I don't know if it can happen anymore. Yes, he can. So if you if you don't go in here fast enough. He will, he will start beating on this door. He may do it still. No, I think you have to get in here later. I know, that's my favorite Nemi form. I wish we got to see that too. Alright. Are you okay? Yes. Barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! No. It's been waiting for you! Stars. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No. I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and... Bad news. 
Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Okay. So, um, well, uh, oh yeah, I should save it. We have flame rounds, so I can make some more. Oh wait, I said I would make the, um, I said I would try and make the enhanced ammo. Finally, will you create enhanced ammo? Jesus, took long enough. But it feels bad you can't use it with the eagle, so. Oh my god. So you have to unload this first. Yikes. I never make enhanced ammo. Well, enhanced, you'll see, enhanced is useful versus one thing. Stop wasting ammo! You'll see. Uh, wait. Stop wasting enhanced ammo! Oh shit, I should bring this. Oops. I need more ammos. All right, this should be enough. Eh. All right, you guys want to see what it's good for? Let me. It's good for nothing. That's what it's good for. So, well, if it wasn't this form of Nemi, then it destroys him. Help! I'm gonna die. Okay. This Nemi's pretty cheap. As you can see. Oh my god, let me play. And this nemesis has iframes, so if you shoot him at the wrong time, he can't be down. Right. To the speedrun area! I am actually gonna die. I shouldn't have tested the enhanced shit now. Alright. Like, he's not even close to dead. your bets guys Stars. we did it yeah and that is the last enemy fight in the game which and here we here's something for you if they just left it like that in re3 remake we would have had all the same fights if the clock tower was in the game, 
Nami would have had all the same drops, or better drops, because the first aid canisters are boring. And then, after you kill him here, he could turn into the dog. And then you don't lose out on anything. You get the extra dog form that you can use for Acid Nemesis, and then he can change into Final Nemi from the remake. It would have been perfect, but feels bad, man. Hey, Roller. Do, 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 do. Now, I don't think the assault rifle is that exciting of a weapon because you just used it as Carlos. But it is nice in the remake, and I wish they continued with that. It would have been incredible. It would have been so cool that every time you down him, he gets stronger and stronger and stronger. They should have super expanded upon that. I love that, that aspect of the remake, where when you're busting off parts of his clothes, he gets exposed body parts and he starts to change. It's so cool, and it's just, again... All the things that are so cool in Remake is just salt in the wound because they just don't do anything with it. Um, M4A1 Assault Rifle. This gun is set in auto mode. He uses 5.56 mm NATO rounds. But again, when you remake a game, this is a boring item. I don't think this is exciting to get from Nemi. And I don't think the second first aid box is exciting. And they could have just made him drop something different in Remake. Did we save it? I don't know if we did. It's okay, though. Um, and in New Game Plus, he'll actually drop infinite ammo there, and you can mix the infinite ammo with whatever gun you want, and that gun will have infinite ammo. Oh yeah, that's my favorite one, Prime. I, I was talking about that earlier. Alright, let's see if anything changed out here. Hey guys. Oh, I forgot about that, Nick. Thank you, cool guy with glasses for the 15 months. Nice to see you. How you doing? I love Diablo. Yeah, I can't wait for the remake. I didn't get invited to the alpha thing, though, so I won't be playing it. World record for Resident Evil 3, any percent? Um, all the classic REs are very optimal at this point. If you wanted to take record, it would take you like 500 hours play time at the least. Okay. Five hundred hours if you're not only insanely lucky but incredibly good at the game. Yo, Ranger. Ah, bitches. No, no, I think any percent's a great category to start with. It's a great speed game. This is actually my most played game on Twitch. Nothing special. Um, after this, I'll probably play RE3 Remake, probably not today, and then, um, and then Darkseid Chronicles, 
No, I won't be doing Inferno. It's really hard to appreciate the game on Inferno. Inferno is not a good difficulty for trying to experience the game in a, a review slash story format. Is that Mr. Bean? Is that photo Mr. Bean? Zombies are attacking. Yeah, fun fact about RE3 Remake. Um, I don't know. We're globy. Don't be hunters. Park. We have to admire it as much as possible since it's not in remake. <laughs> So the enemies you get on this bridge are random. Um, as, well, the enemies you get in like every single room in the game are random. I forgot to mention the speedrunning elements to this game. Like in that room previous, it could be hunters or it could be leeches. Um, in this room it can be hunters, gamma hunters, or it can be, uh, you can actually see the shoulder of a gamma hunter there, look. It can either be hunters here, or it can be zombies. In the next room it can be dogs, or it can be zombies. Ba or dogs, or it can be hunters, normal hunters. <clears throat> Most enemies in this game are RNG. Like what you get. Oh, shit! Uh, we should show off something really quick. Let's show off the hunter death. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it! No! Do it! Oh! Hunter Gammas, baby. Resident Evil. I like how the intro is so quiet and, and this is like crazy loud. Watch it be zombies on our way back. Watch us get the opposite RNG. Hunter 
100%, uh, Nanny. Same. I don't think the park is a great area in this game, per se, but it could have been super fleshed out. They could have even added a new enemy type entirely if they wanted. Feels bad. Um, I don't know. But yeah, I love the sound design in this game too. Oh, leeches! It's told ya! It's RNG! Zombies? No. All right, this could be hunters or dogs. ready for some of the only magnum rounds in the entire game. Lol. Is there any others? I think you have to craft the, rex the rest of them. Written order to supervisors. Mission requirements, Bravo 16. Obtain and secure a sample of all the information pertaining to this case. Observe and record combat data on the UBCS. Um, destroy all evidence, including the medical facility that has medical treatment data. Uh, check the guinea pig's ability to accomplish the mission. Once your mission is complete, evacuate the area. Remember that you must not help anyone who is not a supervisor, nor bring anything back that might be traced where it belongs. So this is the Nikolai thing. He said he was a supervisor earlier. I'm a supervisor. That's all you need to know. Thank you, Jenny doesn't know for the seven months. Thank you. Supervisor, S-O-U-P. Right, we are going to make these leeches mince meat. Where'd they go? Nice, dummy. Do people not like RET remake? I mean, no, it was wildly successful. People love that game. But yes, some people dislike it just due to the fact that the B scenarios aren't what they were in the original. So, uh, set the gears and press the start button. So you want it to be the middle one, or the first, the first one, white, white, black, black. Oh wait, no, you want it to be, yay. Perfect. There is two ways to do this, yeah.
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all you need to know. Yeah, like I said many times, the, th the thing about RE3 Remake, here. If you love Project Resistance, like if you played Project Resistance for like 10 or 20 hours, then RE3 Remake is worth the money. Uh, because Project Resistance is half the money you're spending. Um, but at its core, it looks fantastic. It sounds great. The soundtrack's awesome. The characters are awesome. And the gameplay is really fun. Um, so it's a good game. Uh, but as a remake, that's where it let everyone down. It is an atrocious remake. But as a game, it's fine. Uh, thank you, sure, for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. Alfred Cajones. The graveyard. Father. Father! Here lies James Otto in loving memory of his family. You know what's funny about that though? Why'd I say that? Imagine. I take it back. It's pretty fucking easy to have more hours in Project Resistance, even if you hate the game, than you do in Remake. Do a couple matches and boom, you've already got a game longer than RE3. Discard. All right. Maintenance tools are placed here. Take the iron pipe. So now that earlier I talked about um, the worm is a lot weaker if you kill him in the, or if you weaken him in the city, which we did. So this fight should be a lot easier this time. Take the uh, should be good. Father, yeah, I can't wait to play CVX. I haven't played that casually in a while. A dried up, a dried up pumpkins are placed here. <laughs> Thank you, Swifty, for the 26 months. Thank you. Oh, uh, dried up pumpkins. I wonder if you even need to quick shoot to one cycle worm. Yeah, you can you can kill Gravedigger by um, letting him or you you just wait out the fight. If we don't kill him with the acid rounds, I'll show the slow way of killing him. You no longer need this lighter. All right, that clear a lot of inventory space. Supervisor's report. The endurance ability of the contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, 
the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs and release them, they would return to their units and then turn into zombies. This plan may work well for us in the future. In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but I'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. Um, it'll make a good sample. I've heard that there is a giant alligator, but I've only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned that monster. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have been one of them by now. If it's still walking around in the city, its mission is not yet over. Stars members must be very tough since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. So supervisors report. Like I said, Nikolai is a supervisor, so. Park key. That's why we came here. Facts from the HQ. Attention, the Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. Futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan by tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. It's set to auto-receive mode. Whoa, that guy's face. Ink ribbons? All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. Thank you, Island, for the two months. Thank you. I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. Ooh. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. Mm -hmm. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Mm -hmm. Not exactly. Mm -hmm. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Another mutant. Another mutant. Nikolai's out. Mm, maybe. Ah! I love this. What's going on? Whoa! <gasps> oh my. What is that? Alright, let's see if I can one cycle him. Oh, this is bad RNG. I don't know if it's gonna work. Wow, uh, if we got good RNG, it would have might have worked. I'll show off the actual kill though. Oh wait, do I have... Oops, uh oh. Please don't. This fight's so bad. Okay. No, I didn't bring, um, pistol. I don't... Can you do this with the grenade launcher? Excuse me. The fucking five rise. Follow you like Hunter Gammas as well. I'm so far away. Oh, nuts. It's gonna be bad. Alright, so. You can shoot them, or I think you can push them too. 
Curry, I want to show a GameCube exclusive thing. Only on the GameCube. I, I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Only on the GameCube. Hope, come on, let me do it, let me do it. I don't think it's going to let me. Nah. You have to actually kill him legit. But you can climb nothing here on the GameCube if you kill him without that. Like, kill him the with your bullets. Spiders! Acid rounds are so bad. I like when sewer sections are that long. Alright, so we're headed to the last area in the game and my favorite area or one of my one of my favorite areas in our an RE game. Probably my favorite final area in Resident Evil. And that area is called the Dead Factory. I believe it's where Umbrella disposed of all their waste. Or it's called the Waste Disposal Factory. Right next to the local park. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it's really dumb how the, the Waste Disposal Factory is right beside the park. Like... Entrance to the Waste Disposal Factory? Literally by a park. So stupid. Alright, so we're gonna do this. We are gonna do the other route in this. I believe if we do this, we'll get an extra boss fight and a different ending. I love this area. No. Stars. Are right, we going to jump off for once? Thank you, the soup special. Thank you for the 23. Thank you, thank you. All right. take this okay should be all right now security manual security of the plant since this plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory civilians will sometimes enter if this should occur do not hesitate to shoot them <laughs> If they choose to surrender, arrest and then transfer them to the laboratory as new guinea pigs. That is insane. You will be rewarded. Maintenance of the device. This entire plant is controlled by an epidemic prevention system. When contamination is detected in the treatment room or decomposed specimen pool, the plant will automatically be in lockdown for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will automatically lock down. 
Then you must remain in the plant and wait for subsequent orders. Those who leave the facility without permission will suffer extreme consequences. AKA death. Will you take the water sample? See, isn't this area so cool? Thank you, Sugar Daddy Leon, for the gifted sub. Thank you. No, they didn't. All right. This is everyone's favorite puzzle. Experiment related notes. Watch for the portion with no wave when adjusting the data. Everyone's favorite puzzle ever. Water pollution alert blocking. Uh, ultraviolet rays are applied to the water. There's a tiny slot which a plastic key card could fit. Beep boop. There's a device to check the water quality. Will you operate it? Can't be it. Okay. That could be it. Seems good, right? Water quality check has passed the safety level. did it. Yeah. Um, and now we can save it. Oops. Oh, we'll get the rocket launcher. Is that Mr. Rakir? Hello, sir. Oh! oh. Rescuing you is becoming a full-time job. Thanks, Carlos. I am. Listen closely, Joe. They're going to launch a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. At dawn? But, but that's only... I know. We don't have much time left. We have to split up and find a way out of here. And hey, watch out for that traitor Nikolai. Hunters. 
Who needs it? Oh, shit! Run, Skeeter Beaters! Come on, come down. I dare ya! Ah, this area is so cool. I love the way this smells of factory. It is filled with a nasty smelling liquid. The water pollution control device has stopped functioning. It displays an error message. I love the music here too. It's dark as hell. <laughs> When activating a polluted water disposal device, make sure that the area has been evacuated of all personnel. Dark as fuck. Yeah. 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 Oh, that smell. That is an order I never want to experience again. System disk. <laughs> Nikolai? New cutscene. Super Gamer Corridor. Yo, Auntie. I love how every character has their own little theme in this game. And it gets expanded upon with every song. We can go back? Oh, no, we can't. I was like, wait, what? played the open beta for a bit earlier. It's off the chain. It's so good. Yeah, the fake launch. They got us. Alright, now let's make what we're destined to make. Oh, wait. Thank you, Pixel Blaster, for the hundred bits.
Manager's diary. Thank you for the hundred bits, Mellow Ho. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, manager's diary. Um, April twenty fifth. Today is my thirtieth birthday. I was transferred to this facility today. I'm very happy because the work environment is very different from life in the university. May fourteenth. The disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before the beginning practical usage of the system since it's not 100% stable yet. May 20th. While I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the key card, it's useless when you are locked inside. June 7th. The guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. The system is not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions and I am getting extremely frustrated. July 16th. We can't dispose of all the bodies and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. July 29th. To the function of the system, though the function of the system decreases the number of bodies we have to dispose, doesn't. The infection level has increased and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I have continued to work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. Yeah, so basically this place is for disposing the guinea pigs that Umbrella uses to experiment on. And obviously all the staff fucking hate working here. <laughs> I love this area though. It's not just it's not just your typical laboratory where ev the same shit's happening in every game. Hoochie mama. Slightly worse than a retail job. Yeah. Who in the chat likes working retail? Ouch! Ooh! Hi, do. Set to standby mode when you push the switch. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. It's just me being very casual. Oopsie. Yeah, I don't mind retail. I've never worked it, but it seems okay. Or have I? I don't remember. I worked at Pizza Delight. I worked at the greenhouse. All the culinary shit I've done. Um, Oh, I would not want to work there during Christmas time. Holy shit. No, cool guy. Here we go. Zombies. <laughs> this plant seems miserable to work at. Oh my god. And if this music is playing as well over the loudspeaker or something, oof. Ooh. It's always the shotgun.
Uh, yeah. Uh, Project Revert. Or no, sorry. Uh, this is not good. I forgot hunters were here. And they resp Look, he hurt, he hurt his foot. Look, they're, he's, his feet are frozen. Look. Yeah, the, see the, watch this. See that little tuft of, of frost that it pushes forward? That also does damage. Is there hunters here or nothing? Oh wow, it's crazy. I have seen the baby rain suckers. They used to be in the speed run. We're getting a special something, guys. We're getting a special something. I don't know if you can get it yet. You may need the other card too. All right, back up. They're back again! Respawning enemies is not cool, bro. This game sucks. convenient of a biohazardous lab under a hospital. Yes. The door is solidly locked. A large size refrigerator. There are claw marks that indicate that something tried to crack it open from the inside. Scary. Thank you Parasite Eve for the gifted sub. Oh sugar. Oh boy I'm scared. So in the other, in the speeder route, Nikolai gets killed by Nemi there. Oh! Warning. Proceeding with operation in the treatment room. Please evacuate immediately. <laughs> make this fight I would make it so he's running on the walls like a dog and I would do infinite zombie spawn stars, stars. I love this version of Nemi What the booger? That's that's outrageous. The whole place is gonna blow. So you can kill him with the valves here. But 
We didn't. But I love this fight. Love it, love it, love it, love it! Look at the gator parts. I don't know where they are. There's ivies. There's... See, isn't this waste disposal factory so fucking cool? Beep beep boop beep boop beep beep boop beep 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 boop beep 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 Body into the acid bath. Warning. Missile attack. Another Confirmed. thing I miss in the remake. No escape. Evacuate immediately. No escape, no bomb, no self-destruct, no nothing. Just just leave. You're good. You're good. Just go. Casually leave. There's actually two different versions of this escape theme, depending on the ending you go for. Alright. It's closed with a sturdy looking door. There's a tiny slot where a plastic key card could fit. Not this one. This one. a one-handed item? <laughs> okay. I like the escape in this game. I like everything in this game. I love Resident Evil 3. Next time, take the fucking hint. For those of you who only watch the speedrun, prepare to be shocked.
You're still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from here. An extra boss fight literally because you went a different way. <laughs> hey, bitch boy! Boss fight. But we have the rocket launcher. <laughs> Negotiate with this asshole. He ain't gonna be in rush hour three. Jill, what happened? Carlos. The choppers. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. This isn't over yet. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. Yeah. Guys, what could Jill, happen? That's it. We've got to find a way out of here now. Warning. Warning. Missile, Missile attack. attack. Confirmed. Warning. Oh, here, here's Missile the different song. Confirmed. We get it for this ending. Emergency this one's way battle. better. D. All personnel evacuate immediately. How do I get the berry ending? Did I already miss it? I don't know. I haven't gotten it in forever. Um, incinerator manual. This incinerator plant is one of the facilities that burns the disposable items which are sent from the laboratory. Uh, the incinerator burns the waste materials that cannot be decomposed at the treatment room. It also supplies electricity to the facility by a thermal power electricity generator. Part of the electricity is stored in the big battery installed in the facility's underground area. The electricity is used as an auxiliary power source. The auxiliary power circuit will be activated once the three auxiliary circuit units are properly placed in their sockets. In case the circuits are not connected automatically, a person can connect them manually to activate the system. Oh, it has two ways. I didn't even know that. You! Look at that bastard over there. Oh my god. Imagine missing a dodge with this wind-up animation. Imagine! You bastard. Come here, you bastard. Come here. This is for Orch. Yeah, for those who don't know, the reason he's called Hugh Bastard is because he killed one of Orchelon's runs one time. And Orch screamed at him, you bastard. My soundboard doesn't work anymore. My stream deck is, has been broken since I reinstalled Windows. Alright, this room's really fucking cool. As much as I love... I love Final Nemi in RE3 Remake, and I think the fight in general is way better and way cooler. I would have loved to see this shit. This is one of Umbrella's deadly bioweapons. Final Mr. X just sitting there, uh, legs wide open, waiting for Nemi to eat his wiener, which he does. Mr. X. All the dead troopers. All the dead soup troopers. Another Mr. X. Another Mr. X. Another Mr. X. Another Mr. X. Checking system. Ch -ch 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 Checking battery. I would have loved to see how it all went down. Like, that's what I fully expected in Remake. We're going to get to see a cinematic Checking that shows battery. what happened in this room. That would have been fucking Warning. sick. There is not enough power to activate the system. Now, this fight, I think, is ridiculously dumb because... Okay, so we're powering this rail cannon, and the rail cannon shoots into what powers it. Battery. 
What is the point of this room? Can we kill Nemi before we even charge the... Look, see, he's eating his wiener! I love this song. And I love it even more in RE3 Remake, surprisingly. But yeah, this boss is done. I think Nemesis looks just bad. Like, just a big slug. I don't know. Look at Slug Boy over there. Just a weird root. It's a, like the rail can is shooting into itself and Nemesis is looking like a slug. I don't know. I love the song, though. The song is amazing. Yes, for the songs I don't love, I don't say anything when they're on, which is half of them, but yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh fuck, she's got rocket launcher, I'm turning around. I love most of the music in this game. Though. Oh! The dodge! Next time, take the fucking hit! Shit, boy. Come here. So if we kill him before the the before this hits him, um, then he'll you'll see. Watch. There he goes. All right, he's dead. Now he needs to go snack on Mr. X's wiener again. Oh, y'all know what's System coming. Overheating. Enter cool down mode. All right, guys, here we go. Another amazing thing in the game. Arguably the most iconic line in the whole franchise is in this game. Where is everybody going? Bingo is a close second. You want the fucking hint, bro? Exterminate the monster or ignore it and evacuate. Of course, we're gonna give him the hint. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Oh! Oh, yeah! Thank you for the 100 bits. I love Bob. You want stars? Oh my god, I just gotta see that again. Okay. You want stars? I'll give you stars. You want stars? Yeah, this is, yeah. Next time, take the fucking hint. I'm glad he said stars and not whatever the hell he just said there. He's shrinking. I don't want it to be over, guys. I don't want it to be over. Thank you, Ark, for the Prime Gaming. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Ark, for the 10 gifted subs as well. Thank you. Now, the biggest Jill. disappointment to me of all, from me it's of over, all, Carlos. in the remake. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. 
But who is it? Thank you, Earth. Who could possibly be looking for me? It doesn't matter. We just have to be there when it lands. Thank you, Sam, for the seven months. I love this. I love this. Look. Who, who do you think it is, guys? God, I love this game. And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. We did it! Thank you, Honest, for the six months. Thank you. Don't cry, guys. Don't cry. It'll be okay. I'll remake the game someday or something. I hope. Don't you guys hope? <laughs> I'm, I'm not playing remake today. Do 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 do. Thank you for the 400 Dragon Ball Z. Thank you. Uh, just a quick review of the game. I, I love it. I reviewed it as we went along. I don't know what else to say, honestly. I love all the environments. I love all the different enemy types. The sound design, the soundtrack. Nemesis is literally the coolest enemy in any video game ever and will probably never ever be matched as an antagonist. Um, the characters sort of suck in this game. Like, I, I like Nikolai. I like Carlos. Very motherfucking Bert. But, overall, the side characters are pretty average. Um, I love the puzzles. This game has so many puzzles. And I love all of them. Um, I just love this game, folks. If we have mercenaries unlocked, I will I will try it. It is awesome, yeah, I agree. Remake has a great soundtrack. Freaking Carlos. Yikes. Look at the mug on him. Holy shit. Barry back there as the bartender. Barry the bartender. 
E for excellent gamer. Oh, I can play Project Resistance? Wait a sec. All right. Something very important that, that we're not done yet, sorry. Something very fucking important that the remake is missing. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield. However, all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris is still alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. Okay. No. Okay, something very important. I don't know if you can check them in this version of the game. Resident Evil 3. There are eight epilogues, okay? One of the main problems with the remakes is that no one knows what is canon and what isn't. No one knows what any character is doing or what they're supposed to be doing. You get one of these every time you beat the game. And it probably takes around, let's let's pretend it takes around eight playthroughs to experience everything this game has to experience. Yeah, an entire playthrough you might only see like one difference. Like, oh, Nemi showed up here instead of there, whatever else. But you have a reason to beat the game eight times. Each time shows a different main character of the franchise. Leon, Ada, uh, Sherry, Claire, Hunk, uh, la, 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 Barry, and Chris. Um, it tells you exactly what they're doing. It is a JPEG with text on it. Resident Evil 3 main, Resident Evil 3 Remake's main problem is replayability. There is no fucking reason to play that game over. Well, there you can get the points to unlock the bolt cutters and shit, but other than that, the game severely lacks replayability and it is not nearly long enough. How do you make up for that? Put in the epilogues, at least there's a reason to beat the game over and over. It will give you the JPEG of the main character and tell you what they're doing in canon. It's a way to retcon things they want to retcon. And it is a way to make it so the games are canon. It's not in there. Why is it not in there? Because they didn't give a solid shit about the game. All right. Resident Evil 3. Epilogue files were great incentive to play the game again. And at the time we were developing Resident Evil 3, it also helped expand the worldview of Resident Evil by presenting a single viral incident in a multifaceted way. I requested music for the epilogue that would be a little heavy and sad. I wanted a track that expresses people whose daily lives have been taken away. Wow, that's really cool. Um, all right, I will try mercenaries. <laughs> I'm not good at mercenaries. I, I'm not good at it. Oh, I love that sound effect. Wait, one more time, one more time. Can I back out of this? Meme. No mercenaries either, feels better. Yes, Spoonie. Easy mode. All right, here we go. This is gonna be fast. are simple. In order to dispose of the bomb implanted in your body, you must reach the target point. Keep in mind that there will be various obstacles in your way, so do not be afraid to use whatever means necessary to yeah! reach your goal. Good luck. <laughs> I loved Mercenaries as a kid. I thought it was the best. I never replayed, I hardly replayed RE3 when I was younger, but Mercenaries, oh my god, I thought it was the best. Bum, bum, bum. Ha, 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 ha. 
I don't even know what to expect. I haven't played this in a long time. And every time I do, I just die instantly because I I don't want to play it. <laughs> Which is probably what's going to happen now. What if I die? Will you guys make fun of me? Three seconds. The clock is ticking. We got to go. It's ticking. Pros. What exploded? Bullshit! You can see it in the chat above my brain. What? Why'd he dodge? That was really loud. Help! Help me! I don't forget everything. Get away from him, you, you bastard! Dario! I'm here! Balls out of ammo, though, Dario. Can you hook a guy up? Alright, I'm here, buddy. Run! Love that sound effect. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. He pooped shotgun ammo. Yeah. All corn diet. Thank you for the six months, and thank you Blitzball for the twenty-six. Let's freaking go, Broskis. Let's freaking go. Where am I supposed to go? Like, what's the destination? I honestly don't know. Oh! The warehouse is the start of the game. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go, Mikhail. God, I loved this when I was younger. Guys, isn't it scary that I... When I was like freaking... What's this? When I was like, I don't, I think I played this when I was just a, just a baby boy. Oh. Isn't it nutty that like 12 year old Bach the Soup was sitting in his brother's room when his brother was out smoking weed or something. And I was playing RE3 Mercenaries. Bum, bum, bum. I think there's hunters in here. Oh wait, you guys were that young? Okay, I was like two then. Oh, the hunter goes, ow, ow, oh, oh. ow. Look at Mikhail. Alright, what's in here? Jeez, that was ear piercing. Hello? Oh shit! Help me! You better shit at a first aid spray or something. Oh, 
Oh, that was the aqua pier land? I didn't even, wasn't even paying attention, derp. Yeah, there are. Kyle is the Safspring lady. Alright, if hunters kill me, I'm gonna be ripping pissed. Because I don't know where they are. What is in here? Dogs? Kill me, stupid hunters. Magnum time. Gamma. Help me! Come on, folks. Step on it. Step on it. No, I... I here get up shit boy or I'm gonna eat your butt Stars. oh you tired Stars. baby boy get his bottle thank you Sloopy for the 63 months thank you really appreciate it Thank you, thank you. Nemi Week. Sal Saloopy. No, no, get away from small spiders. No. Bow now. Ow! I aim. Where's auto aim? Bitches. What the? <laughs> Go away. 
Naked zombies. Oh. Oh. Ah. These zombies are naked. Dude, he's naked. Hello? Where's the dude? Where's the dude? Marvin! Go, shout out something good. He's got, he got poopy. He got poopy. Poopy! Marvin Brown, here's some poopy. Guys, do you like that kind of stream? Oh, hey man, you gotta check out my favorite streamer, Bakfasu. Look, he's on right now. Poopy! I like Poopy! 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 Everyone likes that. See, that's easy comedy. Look, guys. Poopy butt. Wipe your poopy butt. It is very greasy. <laughs> Dangling keys. Don't kill me. Thanks. What? Hey, bitch boy. Come here. And that's about all there is to it. Why that didn't why that didn't hit him is beyond me. Oh yeah, we still it's like we still beat it anyway. Look at that. When I was a kid I grinded for that infinite ammo. I grinded. I do really like mercenaries, it's just I don't have the patience for it nowadays. Like I played this game enough. I, 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 I head on away, man. That's why I didn't hit him. You can, there is a, oh, I forgot to mention a feature in this game. If you're aiming and press the alternate aim button, it aims at enemies, auto aims at enemies. So you can hold an aim and spam it and it re-aims, which is what I did for that hunter and he didn't die. Bam. Now. Operation Mad Jackal. Damn, I wish this was in the remake. Because the remake, the, the remake is such fun gameplay. This would have been so much fun to grind out. I would have much rather get points with, like, to buy the shit weapons you got with mercenaries rather than whatever the hell. But that's it for me, folks. I love RE3. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to follow the channel, the heart is over there. I'll be playing Resident Evil games most of the month. I am doing a sponsored stream on Saturday, I think. Uh, I will play some Resident Evil game on Saturday, too. And then um, Pokemon Snap and Returnal. But other than that, I am super pumped for Village. If you want to follow me on social media and YouTube, there are my accounts. I'll upload all the playthroughs on YouTube. But thank you, guys. This has been awesome. I, I love this game. It's my favorite RE. Uh, and yeah. Oh. You fellas in the chat room are sexy young gentlemen and ladies. Thank you. <laughs>